let go of it. Salute, Mob Tube. How is everybody tonight? Merry Christmas to you all. Let me see some names and shout you out one by one. Casey Robinson, Joe Root, Miss Can't Be Wrong, Dave. Uh, let's see here. William Brooklyn, It's the Jacket, Mike Fleming, Jason Mikesell. Uh, let's see, let's see. OC, Big Vic 1965, Psycho at Road King Argo. Don Berlin, my friend. How are you, buddy? Uh, let's see who else we got. Let me get down here. Carmine S. Chicken Hawk Lee. Pounding that pink veal. Wow, I haven't seen that name in a long time, bro. Uh, I knew you were around, just not under that name. Steve Cutler. Maverick. Sean Landon Clark, Alex Trejo, uh, Steve Cutler. I will be smoking one of the, one of the cigars you sent me just recently. I will be smoking one during this show, without a doubt. Chris Capello, Yorkville Charlie, Shark Slayer Nine, Beck Brooklyn, Rick the Tank, Alana Therese, Trevor Smith, Johnny the Greek, uh, Mob Entertainment Group, uh, Effin Low Key. Uh, Richie B, Amateur Historian, and I think that's it for now. Oh, Michael Maffa, there you are. So what's up, guys? How was everybody's Christmas Eve? I hope it was a great one. I hope it still is. I hope you're having a good time with family and friends. I hope you ate a lot. I ate as much as I could, and then I got tired. Doesn't that always happen? After we got home, I got a little tired. I took a little nap. Uh, but it was a good time. It was fun. I think uh, sometimes about Christmases and other holidays uh, that weren't so happy in my life. You know what I mean? They were during a bad time period. I spent a couple of uh, holidays, Christmases, uh, locked up. I spent a, uh, several very, very lonely, <laughs> very lonely, at times completely alone. Uh, and just in bad situations in general, you know? A hell of a lot worse off than I am today. So even though when we woke up this morning, all of our pipes were completely frozen. And I mean completely. The toilet wouldn't flush. The sink wouldn't run. The bath, nothing. The kitchen, nothing. Um, no good. And it took us uh, about two and a half hours to get the water running. And, you know, get it heated back up. Uh, even though that's how our day started, it turned out quite well. We went to Shanna's parents' house. Uh, we got to spend time with them, Shanna's grandparents, Shanna's brother, his girlfriend or fiance, I should say, uh, Shanna's niece, um, both of my stepkids, my oldest stepson's girlfriend. So we had a hell of a time, exchanged some gifts scratched some scratch offs, won a little money. And here we are. I came home and took a nap and now I'm fresh and ready to go. So hopefully you guys are too. It's going to be a good show tonight. I'm letting you know now. I texted several people before this show to make sure they were coming on tonight. It appears they all are. So we're going to have an all-star cast, you know, and we're going to have a good time, a very good time. Shanna is busy doing something for my youngest stepson right now, so I don't feel the need to rush, so we're good. Arthur Stewell, $10. Merry Christmas, FBS. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Arthur. Thank you very much for the $10. I appreciate you. Uh, Sean Landon Clark, $20. Helping replenish the funds after Christmas shopping. Merry Christmas to you, FBS, and your fam. Same to you, Sean Landon Clark, and thank you. Yes, I looked at our bank account um, about 3, 4 o'clock today, and I almost had a heart attack. I really did. I looked at Shanna like, 
you know, I, I, I guess I haven't been paying attention for the last 48 hours or so. It's a ama- It's amazing. I'm sorry. Uh, how much can be spent in that amount of time? It really is. Well, we did a lot of good stuff for everybody this year. We gave away a lot of cash, a lot of gifts, a lot of very, very expensive gifts. And there's more to be given away tomorrow. Matter of fact, the most expensive stuff is being given away tomorrow. So uh, it was worth it. It is what it is. Uh, Let's see who else we got here that I didn't shout out earlier. It's so cold outside. Even my shadow was wearing a coat. Well, I'm quite sure it was. (laughs) Yeah, it's freezing, guys. This is absurd. It's not even this is unreasonably cold. You know what I mean? There's no excuse for this. None. I Even when we were at Shannon's parents, like 20 minutes before I felt like things were winding down and we were probably going to leave, I went out and started the car and just let it run with the heat on full blast. You know what I mean? I'm not a cold weather person, guys. I'm not. Even though I always lived in the Northeast, you know, I'm just not a, a cold weather person. Not at all. I can't stand it. And it's one thing, you know, when it's 30, 32 degrees, something like that. Eh, eh, I can handle that. But this shit, it was 13 today when we were out. 13 degrees in the middle of the afternoon. And now I, I can't even imagine. I'm afraid to look. It's Frankie Carbone in the meat truck cold. Yeah, frozen with popsicles hanging off his nose. I mean, icicles. <laughs> My bad. Popsicles would have been funnier. Midwest Mafia Productions 2.0. FBS, my man, I wish you, Shanna, and the kids a Merry Christmas. Love from the Brew City. We are freezing to death up here. I guarantee you are. Yes, and Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, bro. Supposed to be 60 degrees on New Year's Eve. Word? I'll take it. I'll take it. I can handle 60. I love 60. Last night, me and Gunsmoke are on the phone with, uh, or, or wait a minute. Was it on his show or were we, were we on? No, we were on the phone with him. Me and Gunsmoke were on the phone with Tony Soflo. And he goes outside and he's all happy because it's cold out. So he says. He's like, oh, it feels so good out here. It's cold. I love this weather, baby. You know, Tony Soflo, right? So while I'm on the phone, I'm like, hold up, cold. So I check Miami weather. It was 60 fucking five, guys. 65. Tony Soflo, you suck. You know what I'd give for 60 fucking five degree weather right now? You know what I'd give for 45 degree weather right now? You know how happy I'd be? But this is what happens when you get to live in South Florida and I have to live in fucking Pennsylvania. This is what happens. Your friends mock you and laugh at you and say, yeah, it's cold here. You want to know how cold? 65. And I say, fuck you. And that's it. Let me move on. Uh... What am I high on, dickhead? Life. I'm high on life. That's what I'm high on. Nobody, 1999. Merry Christmas to everyone in the Mob Tube community and their families. And of course, Merry Christmas to the Lodrego family and a special Merry Christmas to Mama Lodrego. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Howie. I will tell her you said that. Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, my friend. Uh, Howie will be joining us tonight. And uh, we will have a, a full cast of characters. It'll be wonderful. Michael Maffa, four ninety nine. Thank you for the super sticker, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas to all of yous and your families. Thank you for being here with us tonight. I appreciate it. Look at this. Big Vic, 1965 $10 for Merry Christmas, FBS. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. And, of course, Chris Capello, $50 for a little extra. Thank you, Chris Capello. Thank you very much, bro. You guys are the best. Love Child Grillo. John Gotti uh, gave Angel my used toys. Oh, that's not right. (laughs) It's it's funny as fuck, but it's wrong. (laughs) Met Abraham, is that right? Uh, Merry Christmas to you as well. 
Anthony Arlotta, Money Mayhem, and the Mafia. FBS, Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to you as well, buddy. Let's see. Is there anything I missed? All right, I'm going to drop the link now, and let's see what happens. Maybe nothing, maybe something. We'll see. All right. There you go. I said it right. Good. Glad to hear that. Ah. The fuck. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Lefty Guns Pool Hall is here. He said, hey, sup, everyone. Merry Christmas. What's up, Lefty? I had to hit Lefty up earlier because I needed a certain picture of him for the thumbnail, and I got it. Wait a minute. What was this? Wait. It was so cold today. I saw my lawyer with his hands in his own pockets. Holy shit. <laughs> Usually they're in yours, right? Oh, here they come. Stone Sailor. How are you, my friend? Merry Christmas. Hey, boom. Look at that. See that right there? You need one, Chris. You need one of my Stone Sailor sweaters right now. You're freezing your cojones off. Man. I'm in beautiful Orlando right now, but it's it's pretty chilly right now. But Bon Natale. Merry what Christmas, my Feliz friend. Navidad, Happy Hanukkah. All right, I'll take all of those. Same to you, my friend. Bon Natale, uh, Howie Santos, my friend. How are you? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Good hey, don't here. don't sell it. That's a, that's a nice sweatshirt. You like that? It's, it's my yeah, one of my own. I, I like your logo. Your logo Thank looks you. like it. Uh, you know, it would be very popular. I trademarked it, so don't get any funny ideas, Howie. <laughs> where'd you get it? Uh, where'd you get it designed? Actually, Chris, this design, my friend, it came to me in a dream. Really? It swear to God, it did. Yeah, swear to God, it, oh. did. it came to me in a dream. And when I woke up, I said, I, I had a friend. He was an artist. I said, I need someone to help extrapolate this from my brain. And he said, OK. And he put me in touch with a kid and I talked to him on the phone and he was an artist. And literally, like the first uh, illustration was like 95 percent spot on. Well, I and could see he, that being a clothing line, bro. That's what yeah, it is. That's right? what, yeah, that could be a be clothing be, line. Like, 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 it, like it, it can go commercial, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm selling my mugs, my my rolling papers, and all that other stuff. And you know, my other my you saw my little submarine uh, bong, right? My little ship bong that I got. I don't yeah. think so, but it's all right. You don't have to show us. I'm not going to show you because I know this is a family show. That's why. It's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do you, do you have right a website there. where you sell that stuff? Yeah, I'm going to sell it soon. I just got it trademarked. Now I'm looking for like distributors and getting it all out and everything yeah. like that. But yeah, I will. I'll let you guys know. Don't worry. Uh, we, we need to get you hooked up. Yeah, Same thing with nice. Double right there. That's yeah, Double really promoted on here. Anthony yeah. Arlotta, Bon Natale. How, how you doing, my bon friend? Natale, bro. Like What's doing? up, boss? What's going on, my oh, man? Right there. Don't show me. doing? That's the captain right there. Look. FBS, what's <laughs> up? Uh, just hanging out, man. I'm glad to see you guys pop on. I was hoping to have you here tonight. Oh, oh for sure. We got well, I just want to I want to let everybody know something, okay? Um, before right. uh, Anthony was acting boss, he he became the official boss now. Oh, okay. Yeah, listen. <laughs> I always said, Howie, didn't I say to you before? Isn't it funny when Anthony's talking, everybody kind of uh, uh, shuts up a little bit because they know he's the most high-ranking one on the screen. Yeah, he's the senior man, as we say. He's the There's senior no man. about it. When, when the Genoa family picks you as a boss, that must mean something. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, so what are you up to today, uh, Anthony? What would you do for uh, Christmas Eve? Well, I uh, – same routine, but uh, we ate good. We ate the fish. We had a nice uh, – I was talking about it when we were making it earlier, and uh, you know we ate the you know the nice uh, sauce with all the fish in it, um, other fish plates, and we ate good. I still nice. made it to the gym, made it to the gym earlier, good. and uh, good. And now I'm out here uh, relaxing, uh, smoking a cigar, and enjoying the night with you guys. Good. What are you smoking? 
Um, this is the my father's. My father. My father. My She's got a cigar <laughs> line now too. Oh my god. It's I got a couple of my father's here, but I'm gonna smoke a, a Herrera Esteli tonight. Yeah. There you go. But, yeah. but this I, thought, I thought you. Hey, F. I F. thought F. you were gonna not... smoke the gun mall. No, no, this ain't yeah, my. This ain't my stepfather. This is my father's. <laughs> oh, that's that's a, a legit. It's a legit. You, ain't no you know what? A, you know what a gun mall is? Uh, FBS. No, what's that? It's like a a, a woman who thinks she's a gangster. Oh, what? right. Never... Yeah, a gun mall. A I gun never... mall. A gun mall. Yeah, M O L L. Mall. Oh, gun. I, mall. I never heard that. Yeah, mm. it's an old it's an old expression from back in the uh, the day. So that's what we should call I Angel. Heard, I heard that somewhere today. Gun mall. <laughs> Yeah, and there's, there's actually a definition for it on the uh, internet. Yeah. There's my man, Tony. So there's Tony Hello, Action baby. Tech. Tony Action Tech, we're having a big Christmas Eve extravaganza. I hope you uh, pop on at some point. Frank Trionolino is in the chat. Uh, I think Frank can't until later, but that's cool. Thank you for being here anyway. I'm going to drop the link just in case anybody else does want to jump on. So at least come on and say Merry Christmas. Otherwise, you ain't shit. Francesco Fiettolino. Fiettolino, Francesco. <laughs> bon Natale. Or as, as Lee would say it, Frank Fortellini. <laughs> Fortellino. <laughs> Lee don't uh, talk before he's so triggered. Who? I said Lee doesn't even know how to speak anymore. He's so triggered that everything comes out of his mouth. He can't understand anything. Well, listen, that's actually a good topic because last night, and I'm sure you guys saw it, he uh, did this unplanned visit uh, by Deanna on Angel's show. Oh, oh yeah. You, yeah, yeah. And, and when Angel asked Deanna, and I'm not going to bash Deanna, just Lee. Uh, yeah, yeah. When Angel said, what's one good thing, one nice thing you could say about Lee? She said, he's very, very intelligent. <laughs> no, I almost pissed my pants laughing. I swear to God, I almost had to drive myself to the hospital. I and thought what, I was having a heart attack. Again. What did she what base did that opinion on? Yeah, she's lived a very sheltered life. Obviously, was she hasn't it, met many people. Well, was listen, it because he knows how to speak to cops, judges. <laughs> I guess, but but yeah. there's a difference between being very intelligent and just being a bullshit. I don't want to knock the because I don't. Yeah, I don't know Deanna, so I don't want to knock her. But only a. Uh, uh, a dumb person says that another dumb person is intelligent. That's all there, but, there is to it. You know what I mean? probably still had the gun to her head while she was speaking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he was oh. probably blackmailing her, right? Oh, Lord. You, know, you better you know, come she, on angels and say this, this, and this. She didn't She didn't give the answer. Every question that, that Lee asked her, she gave the, the wrong answer that he didn't want to hear. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, what a you disaster. See, I, didn't, I didn't listen to all of it. Just, just a, it, a little man. piece. Well, you it. won't be able Chunky to hear Chunky Chunko, Merry Christmas, bro. Sorry, guys. Uh, Angel edited it out, so you won't hear You won't see it no more. Why did she edit it out? Because I, yeah. the, the lady the lady practically abused yeah. Lee while she was, you know, laughing, being nice. She really? Get, yeah, wow. she gave all kinds of... She says, Lee... Uh, uh, you got to be a special person to deal with a guy like Lee, something like that. Okay. Oh, that, that I heard. And she blamed yeah. her the live on her new boyfriend. Remember how the uh, he used to say he used to go see her, and I guess he used to steal her credit card and all that stuff. But she, used yeah. to, but she gave the reason she's alive today on the new man in her life, not that lion. Not out. the old man. <laughs> oh shit! And she. <laughs> And she took it down, right, uh, Howie? Yeah, yeah. Angel cut it out. Oh, God, wow. he can't even stage an interview to make himself look good. That's how bad he is. So Lee oh. embarrasses himself once again. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. And then a little uh, like forty and slip kind of thing uh, towards the end. He says, uh, "Now, Deanna, you can go brag to all your friends about getting to talk to John Gotti's daughter." And I'm like, "Bro, nobody would brag about that, but you. That goes to show you." Um, how important it is to Lee. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. that's what he does. He goes around the, the projects he lives in and talks to all the senior citizens on welfare and tells them, guess who I just got off the phone with? John Gotti's yeah. daughter. It's not oh, even his daughter. Yeah, yeah, like he might even he might even be saying that he's dating her. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it for a second, bro. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wouldn't doubt it if he is dating her. Let How me tell that? you something. That would be a, <laughs> that would be a good couple, though. They they make a perfect match. Oh, Does yeah. she let Lee get the second base on the first date or not? What is Lee get the second or third base on the first date or what? Oh, no, when you get a home run, grand slam. Home run on the first date? Wow. <laughs> hey, Ew. when he's in the car, he gets a grand slam. That's the stories that I heard. Oh. The only grand slam he gets is from Denny's. Hey, at <laughs> FBS, I was watching that um that video that uh that Lee made when he was mad at Mob Rats Exposed and he talked bad about Angel and yeah. uh MRE and and everybody. Yeah. That was that that was the real Lee Cole right there. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. That's the way he really yeah. feels. You know what I mean? He yeah. just needs them right now. Well, they, they don't they don't fully accept him and they don't fully trust him. They I mean they they you know you could tell just by the way they act and the chat does bash him. Half the chat bashes him all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Gun smoke the Oh Yo, what's up? wait a minute. Gunsmoke, uh, let me shout you out and say hello, my friend. Merry Christmas to you and your family. But uh, after I read Boston Jay's uh, super chat here, we're going to bring somebody on who's never been on screen with the rest of these guys on here. I'm very excited. Hang on. Wait, Boston can I Jay. guess? Can I guess? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's either uh, Bill Catullo uh -huh, or yeah. Jimmy Calandra. No, nah, they've been on before. We'll see. No, oh, no, not, 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 no, not with not with uh, Howie and Anthony. No. Oh, Let me see. Boston J, twenty dollars. Here's a Christmas gift, kid. Thank you for having me. Uh, during my family's loss, loyalty over everything. Buy a pack of smokes on me. Again, thank you for reaching out. My family is struggling. Merry Christmas, kid, to you and Shanna. I know Boston J. I know it's an extremely difficult uh, holiday uh, for you and your family right now. I wish you the best. My condolences, of course. As far as uh, losing your sister and uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, bro. Hey, Boston Jay. You're Sorry. good people, Boston Jay. God bless. Gunsmoke the Doc Christmas. Uh -oh. hey, I was right the first that, time. That, that Mike Cus <coughs> that Mike Cousine, Bill, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those teeth. God <laughs> damn it, Bill. Hey, me and Ho me and Howie, we gotta share some stories about our dentists. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no shit. I said to Anthony one day, what do I got to do to get those fucking teeth, bro? Wait, wait. How are you? It's like our smiles are all the rage, bro. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> how are you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. JC. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. JC, Merry Christmas. It's a pleasure, JC. It's a pleasure. Merry Christmas. Uh, who else? Stone Sailor. Merry Christmas, my brother. Hey, Bill. Uh, how are you, buddy? Who am I missing? Who am yeah. I missing? Is that, somebody is say that, that fat bastard. That fat bastard. Somebody said that fat bastard. The fat bastard. I would say to my brother, everyone, everyone in my area knows that fat. Bruno, all them guys, that fat bastard. They know, they know, they know all, he's all a fat bastard to all of them. We should have a contest tonight. A hundred dollars to the first person who can guess how many felonies are on the screen tonight. Oh, <laughs> Not no, felons. No. Yeah, I don't even know if can Actual guess that felonies. Hold on, I got oh, my phone here. I got my phone here with my calculator, so we should be all right. <laughs> well, I think we got everything covered. Every felony there is. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> except for any any kidnapping. No kidnapping. Yeah, except, yeah. Yeah. except for kidnapping or. Uh, or any type of crimes you have to register for. None of those. Right, right. Yeah, they, they meant to that. Yeah, and we ain't no gangsters over here. None of us. No, uh, we no are. Run, Certainly we not. The bounty hey. hunter and hiding in the women's bathroom at Walmart. None of that here. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, I was laughing my balls off all afternoon today, shopping, thinking about this tonight, knowing what was going to go on. Oh, yeah. How many yeah. How many people you think uh, he's got on his um on his show right now? <laughs> oh. The lion. I guarantee, Wait, I guarantee oh, you that that ooze out in Texas. I guarantee he's probably got four screens going at one time. 
<laughs> is he on yeah. right now? Well, while he eats a chicken meal, a yeah, McDonald's yeah. chicken meal. <laughs> he takes three. No, he's not up. Uh, just listen. Is that Don? That's Don Berlin. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, wow. oh, man, not bad God already. Berlin. Don. Merry Christmas to everybody. God bless you all. Hey, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you and yours, Christmas, Don. Man. Merry thank Christmas, you, Don Berlin. Hey, thank you very, very much. The boys at cold, Chris, you're right. It's We're south of you, but let me tell you, it's six degrees in the Blue Ridge right now. Wow. Oof. Awful, awful, awful. God. No, no electricity. We're on a whole house generator. This is a big farm, so you know. Sorry. It's been today. Has been uh, not not good, not good at all. But what are you going to do? Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, listen. Go. I'm grateful. I'm home. Al- I'm home and uh, at peace as opposed to in pieces, which is. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't good. recommend pissing outside. No kidding. God <laughs> almighty. God. It'll freeze to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, colder no. than a it's colder than a Brooklyn morgue with what with a stack of bodies outside. Even Santa's deer are <laughs> dead <laughs> on my driveway. Well, now, why did you well, choose to use that analogy on this show at this very time, Don? I don't, I don't know. know. Of I don't know. It just, it just kind of like, uh, you know, came across. <laughs> yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, so. well, Don, listen, I never had the pleasure, but I, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you do, and, and bless you for being home, and like you said, in one piece. Thank you. Well, listen, listen, it's my pleasure and my honor, and and I, I really, really enjoy listening to both uh, you, Howie, and 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 <coughs> excuse me, um, and uh, Frankie and Anthony. It it, uh, it it reminds me of a of a lot, you know. And uh, I think about you know uh, about war on foreign soil versus the war on the streets of New York and what have you, and the similarities between the two. And one of the things I think about is my gratitude uh, over Christmas, because in my world, you know, our families, like your families back then, they live with the idea that they don't know if we're going to come home, you know? Yeah. And and uh, every time uh, I know that you guys stepped out of the house back then, you know, you never know. Your families never knew whether you were coming home or not, you know, whether whether it's a war on foreign soil. Uh, or the war in the streets of uh, Brooklyn, Queens, whatever. Families, you know, when they lose their loved ones, uh, it, it's a tragic, tragic situation. And especially Bill, Bill Cotullo, he was around. He was around during wartime. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, and and frankly, I think if this is common to all of us, you know, um, it's a, it's our families that keep us going. I told Chris this a long time ago, you know, uh, and that is my, like my wife, like Shauna, is the heartbeat of our soul. They are. They are the heartbeat of our soul. They're the ones that keep us going. They're the ones that are always here. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been in this business for a long, long time. And my wife was, too, you know, when she was with the department and what have you before that the white house and um uh so she knows the deal okay but still it doesn't make it any easier you know it doesn't make it any easier so of course not. this guy this yeah. guy's got a lot a lot of balls wearing that hat right now thank you thank you so, yeah, yeah. What no, you no 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 not you oh. Don. so flo. oh so flo, oh. what are you doing he's in florida wearing a winter hat uh, he's, he's about ready to rob a, a, a condo he's got his burglary cap on that's what I got. <laughs> yeah. Hanging out, bro. Tony. Big time. Tony. Police bro, down. Talk to me, bro. He's roll making that, believe roll that cold. hat the whole thing down. I bet you it's got eye holes and a, and a mouth hole and all that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Hey, bro. Hey, yeah, that's, hey that's Tina. A- Merry Christmas, love. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you both. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas, you. Tina and Tony. Yeah, right, well, hey, well, right now, by May, it's about it. Hello, how are you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> bon Natale. <laughs> bon Natale. Bon Natale. <laughs> bon Natale. <laughs> it's a Bon Natale. <laughs> bon Natale. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. Say, say hi to say hi to the people from Calabria. Oh, Bon Natale. Oh, Bon Natale. <laughs> oh, God, see, bon Natale. I had dinner with her, Tony. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Check out, check out everybody here, bro. Check it out. Oh, nice. Where are you? For me, it's hard to see without my reading glasses. 
Yeah, I can't. I can't. Where you at? A restaurant? Tony, where you at? What? Where are you? Uh, I'm over here at the at the Cuban Italian party I told you about, bro. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're over wow. here hanging out over here with the with the fams. Must with be the fam. some good food, man. Oh yeah, I ate, I ate some pork. I ate some uh, r black rice, some beans. I ate uh, the plantains. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff here, man. Yeah. Like pork brain. Oh. Say it again. <laughs> brain. Pork brain. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got some. Oh yeah, oh, yeah pork brains. Uh, uh bro, I, I'm so, uh, Tina loves it, bro. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do the pork brains, bro. I really can't, bro. I don't know. Maybe I, had, maybe if I put some type of condiment in it, I, I'll be able to do it. But, but straight up like that, oh my goodness gracious! Yeah. I, but, I can't uh, believe I'm gonna say this right now, but um, I can barely hear you, JC. You gotta raise the volume a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JC, I heard JC that. is difficult to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so flow, so flow adjusted my mute button. So. Where's my? Hey, give me a shot. <laughs> and, and just in case you didn't hear me, uh, Don Berlin, I wasn't talking about your hat. I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I just saw that. I, yeah, I yeah. just saw his hat. I mean, I mean, please, people, it's 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 warm down there, but here it's not not warm yeah. at all. What it's is it, Tony? Enough. What is it about seventy degrees where you are? And you're wearing, you're all it's bundled up. Forty. How much? <laughs> What is it in 40, uh, where you, 40 degrees? It's about 40 in Orlando. 40. I'll trade you. 40 by me, by me right now, it's about 60. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. beautiful. Let me know I got a jacket on. Huh? Like 15. Well, Howie, how, well, how's the weather? Over, in over, over, here, over here in Texas, it's 31. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Man. I hope you guys don't oh, have another situation like a year or two ago when everything uh, froze, froze up, up, you know? Yeah. 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 That was yeah. tough on you, wasn't it? Well, at least at least I know somebody out here. So in case uh, my water freezes up, I can go by my friend's house. Yeah, you're Lee. Yeah, you can go yeah. see him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I lived in Texas for a while, man. I was in San Antonio. And I loved it, man. I loved, I loved San Antonio. It. Me too. Bro. I loved it. I was... Yeah. Nice people, man. The food is awesome. You got the river walk over there. It's, yeah. it's nice. Really Who nice. did we lose? We lost somebody. No, you, what did we lose? You, gained, you gained people. Let's what do you see. mean? Uh, <laughs> 10 people here? Oh, okay. Is that, no, 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 no. All right, is yeah, that yeah. common sense? Yeah, he's on. Hey, right. what's up? What's up, bro? Common sense. What's up, man? See you, bro. On the scene, oh, oh, my friend. What's up, what's up, common? What's up, common? Hey, yeah. How are you? Good to see you guys. Gun smoke. What's, what's, what's up, man? What's up, bro? Hro? Hey, how you doing, Bill? It's been a while. How are you, buddy? Merry Christmas, Christmas common. Merry Christmas, brother. My screen, my screen keeps oh, getting smaller and smaller. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I could. Uh, Tony looks like he's having a good time. That's all I know. I can't see too much, but he's always having a good. When isn't he? Yeah, he looks like he's having... it's freezing. It's uh, it's cold down in Florida right now, though. It's like 35, 40. I heard. Wow. I'm in Orlando. It's 40 right now. It's supposed to get Oh, I forgot. I forgot you were in Florida too. I forgot about that. That's right. Tomorrow it'll probably be 85. Yeah, I think uh, Tony's I think they said me, next week it'll be yeah. right, back up like 20, 30 degrees, something like that. 50, 60. Yeah, it's gonna be like almost mid 50s here. Yeah, I think uh, Anthony's right by me. It's 60 degrees on New Year's Eve. I heard something like that. That's Tony, crazy. yeah, yeah, it's what I. Heard. Tony Soflo. He's at a super spreader event. He's got I think he he might have a, a referee, a referee from uh, FIFA right here, bro. Say hi. Nice. Say hi. Let's go. Salute, my friend. Hey, I'm out of here. Keep people out of here, bro. I love you. I love you Merry too, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey. Hey, hey you, got, you guys aren't going to believe this. Our party got cut short due to a fucking fire, bro. What? Really? Uh, yeah, man. Oh, shit. For you real? Fire? I'll be right back, Fire guys. trucks, the cops, yeah. the whole nine, dude. Where Jesus, at? What happened? Some fucking asshole was doing laundry, and his fucking uh, uh, dryer uh, started smoking. Fucking almost you know, forced the whole place. You know, our, our next door, uh, the, the, the guy that owns the farm next to us, the fire trucks are literally at his house right now because, uh, because everybody here, there's no electricity here. There hasn't been all day long. 
And so everybody is on whole house generators. And uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So now his carbon monoxide alarms went off. Okay. Yeah. 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 I I just read an article. Who is who is that? that Sorry, Samsung is uh is uh, Don Don Berlin. Don Berlin. Don Berlin. Don Berlin. Nice to meet you. How are you, Don? How how are you? You heard Common? Common. I just read an article saying that Samsung is recalling a whole bunch of dryer models for that for that very reason. Wow. Wow. They're they're overheating and going on fire. Yep. The the um the whole thing was glowing bright red through the uh through the vent. Wow, Jesus Christ! It's coming out, yeah. the fucking whole well, place smoke yeah. was nuts. Yeah. And you know, dry, dryers actually are uh, some of the top causes for house fires because of the yeah. they, they don't so clean much the energy. And they back off. People, people got to clean hey. those uh the vents out every like six months. They back up yeah. all the wind and shit and catch on fire. Yeah. You know, you got to be yeah, careful. Exactly. With that. Yeah, exactly. it's dangerous. Hey, Bill, yeah. Bill, you smoking a cigar? Yes. What are you smoking? Tonight, just a Camacho, brother. The orange label. All right. Yeah. yeah. I, I I got the same one that you got, Anthony. That thing is uh that 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 uh, cigar is strong. It's really bold. Which one? Wh- which one? That that my father. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah, that's like a it, no. That's like a um, you know, it's kind uh, of mild. A, a mid. Yeah, it's a my. It, it's not mild. It's uh, it's medium. It's mid, my father's yeah. a medium. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I okay, love? Maybe, I love the Perdomos. Yeah, if yeah. you it depends if you ate common, if you ate something or whatever, if you're smoking it on a, and plus maybe you're not used to them. You know that's another thing. Yeah. Um, well, you know, but I my know, father's is, is like a medium. Yeah, I, like it, I, yeah, I, agree with I like it a lot. Um, that's hilarious that there's a cigar named my father. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's it's hysterical, man. When I when I first went when, when when the guy introduced me to the cigar for the first time, actually, back in the day, Fonseca was the cigar that I thought was the, part of the my my father line, but you know when yeah. the guy handed yeah. it to me, he's like, "Bill, you you're gonna like this cigar," and I looked at it and I saw MF, and I was like, I thought, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. No joke. And uh, he's like, no, he's like, Bill, you're going to appreciate this. He's like, the name of the line is called the My Father line. And then he, yeah. he bought me a limited edition uh, My Father, like, it's got like every single cigar in it. Um, oh, wow. Of the whole line. Yeah. And it's got right. like a, it's a maple you. box. I won't open it, man. I, I, I just, I can't. I won't open it. I That's see you, open. FBS. You got the cigar out? Oh, yeah. I got the Herrera Esteli. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, okay. there you go. What's up, Hey, uh, JC got one, too. Yeah. Oh, does what are you smoking, Jay? This is my... Uh, this is you my, got a bazooka. Yeah, <laughs> bazooka. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, Bill, uh, Bill, Bill, yeah. Bill always has one that looks like as big as a rifle. He's got these, like, 18-inch long joints. He's got. Yeah, he I does. Know. I, I yeah. know. I know. You don't fuck around. Bill don't fuck around with them things. And you got the no. official ones. My, yeah, exactly. I know. Prize fighter. Yeah. It is I know. K. Hamstrin and Company. Whatever it is, it costs a lot of money. I don't smoke cigars usually, yeah. but if I'm going to do it, it, I'm going to smoke a decent one. It's, it's a double purpose go. cigar. Uh, you get out of line, you can crack you over your head with it. <laughs> like a cane. Oh, I thought you were going like to say a fucking cane. Like to mix it with some other kind of uh, green product. That kind of hey. looks like a red looks like a redwood tree. Yeah, the, the next Wait. cigar will be different though. The second cigar of the night's gonna be a green cigar. We gotta get Jimmy on. Gun smoke. Jimmy's, gun smoke. Jimmy's gun smoke. Yo, yo. You gotta get off the cigarettes. You gotta get off the cigarettes and get onto the cigars, brother. Oh, or yeah. the bazooka bubblegum. Or the bazooka bubblegum. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, like I heard yeah. I, I was listening. Busy. I was listening to the show. You're smoking a lot of cigarettes, brother. Yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> Some and things don't change. Fifteen dollars a pack. Oh my god. Yeah, man. How much? Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Put gun smoke wanted on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, my balls broken. You know, you so know that they don't sell. <laughs> they don't sell no. Uh, they don't sell menthol in the whole state of Mass. You guys know that? Yeah, wow. they banned all that. Now yeah, they they banned them all. Yeah. They were actually in California. You can shoot heroin on the street, but you can't buy a Newport. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, people people gotta drive all the way down over the border just to get a new part. Yeah, it's or, you know, why is that? Like that? Yeah, why, why is, is that? that? They're trying to ban menthol. That the menthol is attractive for younger. It attracts highly addictive. But the funny uh, thing is, but this is the funny thing though. If you go down to Connecticut, right? They only yeah. sell ones with menthol. Uh, yeah. The kids don't like the I menthol was just and say all the that. vape juices. It's a complete opposite. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Yeah. I it was just going to say that. You, yeah. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Casey Robinson said, like I've said, I'll never never look as badass smoking a cigar as Bill Catolo. There you go. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> will, bro. You're damn right. You're damn I'll right. be right back, guys. Yeah. All right, brother. So listen, you know that ooze out in you know out in Texas, man. You know I. Hey, don't talk know, about guys, how like that. The ooze. Yeah. Let me I, let me know, give you let, let me give you how <laughs> my perspective for a second um, on yeah. that fact because I I uh, oh, I look hilarious. at it a little bit a little bit differently, you know. Okay. And here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing that I think everybody is kind of overlooking which is because they're focused on the shiny rock of the road, okay? And what everybody's overlooking about what this guy boils down to, and that is what is the common thread that sews him together over a significant period of time? And that is he is really nothing more than a stone-cold con man. That's what yep. he is, nice. you know, from yes, front yeah. to back. You know, I mean, all of his financial yes. crimes. I, I agree committed. with you, Don. I agree yeah. with you. That's all he really is. He's a yeah. two-bit yep. con you man that goes from, yep. Yep. It goes from place to place to place and, and essentially yes. de defrauds people, you know? He's I mean, a that's vagabond. He yes. That's what yeah. he is, a vagabond. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And, and, Don, and, you nailed it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I'll yeah, tell you what was... the proof of the pudding is, okay? Con men notoriously are not capable of sustaining interpersonal relationships, okay? They yep. burn everybody. Because yep. why? You know, uh, they're always having to lie. That's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. In order yeah. to pull off a good con, you always have to be lying. You always have to be cheating. Right. You always have to be deceitful and what have you. Manipulating. You, yeah, manipulating, borderlining, and what have you. And if you notice, one of the reasons why he cannot hold on to a partner, okay, in anything, in his personal life or on YouTube, is because mm -hmm. he's a con man. Yep. And anybody 100%. who interacts with him is going to be burnt and is going to be cheated because that's the pathology of con men. It's not that he's such, wow. such a you know such an, a uh, uh, you know a vile individual. And here's the proof of his manipulation. Okay, yes. the, the the con man always is the kind of guy that hangs out his white linen on his own show, but uh, uh, but then does his dirty work. In another person's show, and that's his. Oh story. yeah, yeah, yep. oh, yeah, yeah. And you it's know, all, and you know, all, all manipulation. Yeah. yeah, and you know how we know that that's true because when D uh, Deanna was on the phone yesterday on the show, that's exactly yeah. what she said about him. She said mm -hmm. that he's a good yeah. bullshitter. He always mm -hmm. gets his way, and he could talk his way into anything and out of anything. So she said I that think, herself. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, I heard well, that. Well, integral yeah. to a con man, but it's dummy so. Okay, it has to be a bully. Yeah. So con men Dummy, and bullies yeah. go hand in hand. Why? Because in order to pull off the the con and the, and the parachute out of it when it when it goes disastrous, the last thing that the con man does is try to bully his way through, and hopefully people will remit. But that's not that that is not right. uncommon. Not uncommon. Right. Until right. until right. you run into a and real you know, bully, and one thing I quick, you know. Exactly. And one thing I want to add, he gets away. He likes to um, manipulate people with low intelligence. You know, yes. like say he came on this panel right now and he tried to uh, do that con man game. He want to get yeah. he want to get one inch with anybody on. No, it. no, uh, no, no, because he'd be a victim. And, and, well, that, that's yeah. one, one, he'd of be the, exactly. why, one of the reasons why one of the reasons why. He, he resists doing it. Why? He didn't, you know, he didn't come on last night, obviously, and whatever. He will never do that with street people because he knows <laughs> that street people know what a con is, okay? Because yeah. they've been on the street. Right. They're wise to that kind of thing and what have you. And, yeah. 
and, and yeah, so yeah. yeah and you know so what what is incongruent with his background is that violent episode with the with the kidnapping and what have you but mark my words i i i bet you a thousand to one that that kidnapping originated out of some financial event that went south okay the yeah. the kidnapping was the punctuation at the end of the sentence. It was. It was the it was the hotel bill. I agree. Who needed well, money? Who needed money? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I agree. Oh. Him so and her and, were staying at the hotel, and he couldn't pay for it, so they took well, off. Right. Well, don't. Oh, that's and right. Don't forget, yeah. Right. And don't yeah. forget too. He said that he was on the run, and the bounty hunters were chasing him. And then when uh, FBS got his uh, paperwork there, he, he he absconded, and he got caught five days later. It was all a lie. Yeah, well, well yeah. Chris, that, did you, you know, say he was sharing uh, medication with her too? Yeah. As well? yeah, he told me that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of one of the wait, that's I, what I, he said. He said, yeah, that? he, yeah. When we when we started talking again, he told me he he thanks God he's out of that relationship because he had to uh, basically um, supply enough for both of them, and it was too much. Wow, he told you that? I bro, I swear on my life, bro. Yeah. Wow. But then he said, of course, he followed it up with, well, I haven't taken a pill in, you know, two months or some shit like that. But, yeah, when they were together, yeah. that's what he said. Lefty, bro, you're at a now zoo you, now, again, bro. A lot of fit. Yeah. Why she, uh, now you know why she was sticking around for all that time dealing with her shit then. The ultimate hypocrite. He, you know, the, 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 the one part of this uh, whole story with him that is yet to be told, okay, it's, it's kind of like the epilogue of uh, – of uh, his story that we don't really know for sure. There are some indicators, but we don't really know. And that is, and this is just my own personal belief, by the way, we really don't know what the true historic relationship was with him and Danny Trio. I happen to believe, in my opinion, that it is not a recent relationship that was born out of a, you know, a, a happenstantial collision Yes. on facebook i don't believe that i believe yeah. that I uh no i think it goes back f much further than that and and here's the reason why and that is if you notice okay both of them have one common thread in common and that is they're both con men both burglars mm -hmm. both yeah. involving financial yeah. crimes yeah. you know yeah. both right. both are outside in people that is to say that they do not and are not the person to whom they portray themselves to be OK, right. that's right. not something that a person happenstantially collides into. That's a a intimate, long term relationship that has qualities yes. that attract one another to one another. And that's yeah. why I believe he and Trio go back. It's this is not something yeah. that was recently contrived. It, it, it goes back. I think, I think that's going to come right. out. Soon. Yeah, I think yeah, that's going to be exposed. And you're 100 percent right. Yeah, uh, Casey Robinson. They are. Uh, they are. Thank they you, are bro, and I agree. Size. Thank you, Casey. Yeah. The ultimate Thanks, hypocrite yeah. is, is a guy who disparages people that have done their time, yet you won't even show up and answer for a warrant for your arrest. You yeah, still right. you're a fugitive from justice for Christ's sake. Yeah, you know, and yeah, you won't right. even show up to answer those charges, but you want to condemn uh, people that did their time. And tried and are moving on with their life. And here you are, you won't even show up and answer for the warrant for your arrest. It's just that, you know. You know, it's well, funny. He, he also got sued for what? Where Lee oh. described it originally. This is before we all found out what was up with him. And the way he described it, he literally was like, I was being chased by bounty hunters. And, he, and keep in mind, he was attacking a few people at the time, talking about how badass he was. And he would say, yeah, None of you live that life. You guys will laugh your tails off. When you see the old footage that that I found from about eight, nine months ago, where Lee's describing this, you would think that he was a mafia figure who was on the run. <laughs> Keep in mind, he was talking to John A. Light and Gene Borello at the time, and was trying to be their friends, right? Yeah. And he describes it like I was on the run, and you know, they nine were years, and you know what I did was real, nine shit, years. dude. Oh, it, it's hilarious, especially now that we know, yeah. you know, what really happened. That's a very good point, JC. And, and here's I I 100% uh, believe that. And, and here's the reason why. So the good con man always straddles truth. 
okay? There's yeah. always a grain of truth in the Sahara Desert, but that sure. doesn't mean you're the Sahara Desert. There's always a grain of truth, okay? They straddle right, right. the truth, and then they build upon yes. it. It's like a pyramid, okay? Yes. And they build upon right. that grain of truth, and they always yeah. point to the grain of truth in an effort to kind of like uh, demonstrate their credibility. OK. Yeah. Meanwhile, everything else in the in, in the sand pile is all fraudulent. OK, that's yeah. him. You that's nailed him. it again, Don. You nailed it it's again. So smart. smart. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, Wicked smart. Yeah. And that's smart. what they all do over there. They take they take uh, one little speckle of truth and they mix it with right. like 95 yeah. percent of a lie and mingle it yeah. in there. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? And that's what they all do over there. And, and the and the queen over there, the queen's stepdaughter, she's in charge. She's a, She does it. She plays stupid, but she's in charge of it all. And, and she plays the dummy role with it. And they all follow well, suit. You know? Yeah. That's what they do. He didn't show up for court. And uh, he turned that into he was on the run from for nine years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah exactly. Yeah, it's bad you know. Well, I mean, okay. So that's your excuse for yesterday. But how, how come you haven't shown yeah. up today to clear your warrants? I mean, that that's a demonstration of an individual who, uh, again, consistent with comment, they don't want reconciliation. Right. They don't want redemption. No. They don't want resolution no. because they're incapable of it. No. Okay. Yeah. Because it's it. it's. It's pathological. Yep. You know? what, you know, what's talk, his warrant? I, uh, what's his warrant for? Grand theft. Grand theft. Yeah. Yeah. Grand theft. Really? Yeah. Well, what? What a low. I mean, the, 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 this whole thing, you know, the other other side. We, I think Chris and I talked about this. I think it was on on the phone, or uh, Chris, you got to remind me. But you know, my view again. I, I, I'm in the minority, but my view of uh, of angel situation is and, and, and again it's easy it's easy to focus on the shiny rock in the road and miss what really is happening with her first off number one i think she's significant has significant psychological and probably psychiatric uh, underlying problems why do 100%. i say that 100%. why do i say that and, and, and yeah. anybody especially those on this particular show tonight would understand this you know Think of it. Think of this in the light most favorable to her for just a moment. Okay, this is a woman whose family was constantly persecuted, prosecuted, pursued. Okay, by the federal authorities constantly. Okay, this is a family that was constantly, uh, one day to the next, may not come home. They co she constantly lived under the pressure of all of these things in her house that spell nothing but utter chaos. The only way those kinds of persons exist, the only way that they can survive is when they build an alternate reality that they can reside within. That's the motivation yes. because their, their real reality is so tragic, so sad, yeah. so yeah. Trauma. traumatizing, traumatic, yeah. Yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. over time, over time, they build this alternate reality and deny their innermost, you know, thoughts and everything that is yeah. that is plain in front of them. You can, you know, it's like Chris they, was doing. It's a defense mechanism she uses yeah. to get by. I think they suppress oh, yeah. the whole, uh, yeah. truth the would actually they shatter her. David Koresh it's type true. kids. They yeah. have they yeah. had to do that to survive. If you yeah. see the difference between her and Rita Giganti. Like yeah. when Rita gives an interview and she talks about how that negatively affected her, her father, you know, what he did. I mean, she gives a great interview, you know, right. and she's right. very You're simple. 100 Angel, correct. no, she wants to keep painting that picture that everything was perfect. Yeah. Father yeah. was the best. Yeah. He loved me. Yeah. He did that's everything. a perfect yeah. example. Yeah. Stone yeah. Sailor, you nailed I, it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I do, exactly I do right. think, though. In a way that yeah. she's kind of a, a, vic a victim of her own environment, a product of her she's environment. She also likes she's... to play the victim, though. Yeah, she uses it as, as a defense mechanism, is what I'm saying. That environment, you know I mean? though, is Stone, long Stone gone. Stone Sailor. She's yeah, that's 20 years, Stone yeah, Sailor 20 nailed years it. ago, you know? That's 20 years I, I ago. Think Stone, Stone Sailor nailed it with, uh, I, I think that, uh, with that Rita Giganti. Yeah, that, I would agree with that, Rob. I, I would agree no, with that because, no, um, no because but you know, real quick, though, 
Don, let me just tell you this. Rita Gigante, yeah. they come from the same clock. They both right. went away. They both died in prison. They're both notorious yeah. mob bosses' daughters. Look at the class Rita Gigante got, and look yeah. at the look at the look at the difference between the class of person between the two, between Rita Gigante and 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 between uh the stepdaughter of John Gotti, right? Yeah. Well, and yeah, I'm going to tell you another one thing. Another. And one one other thing, I just want to add to that. She's extremely jealous of. Here's another thing. Sammy the Bull Gravano. She's extremely envious of Karen Gravano Karen? and the and of the star they got from yeah, yeah from the really? stardom that they got from yeah from the stardom that they got from uh the mob wives when yeah. don't forget it took yeah. a lot of balls for Karen to come back to New York with her father who she was. Yeah with it her did. father and came back to New York, right? And she had to face all this uh you know criticism, what her father did, and she came back. That shows a lot of balls what she did, and yeah. she I and she like put a on chance. a successful. Well, and, and, and I she think did a successful you, show. Yeah, and I think I think what Rob was talking about, you know, these are two people, two women who are diametrically on the opposite ends of the of the pole. Okay, right. yeah, Rita Rita Gigante has obviously gone through a lot of self-awareness, a lot yes. of therapy, probably. She's probably, yes. you know, engaged with uh, with a lot of other people who have helped her resolve and reconcile. Because if you notice, Rita always says, listen, I'm not going to apologize and I'm not going to say that I don't, and I didn't love my father. I do love him. And I did love him. Okay. Don't ask right. me to say that I don't love my father. That's not natural. Okay. Don, I paid you good yeah. money to, to see uh, Angel Gotti's Wait, reaction let, to you going on her Don show finish. and telling her this very smart and uh, insightful stuff. I'd love to see Angel's reaction to this. Well, you know, her reaction would be, I can tell you what her reaction would be, given the fact that if the hypothesis is correct, which is that she unfortunately can only coexist inside an alternate reality of her own construction for the sole purpose to survive, okay, then everything in which we're saying would be like talking to a person underneath a pond of water. She would hear nothing. It would be completely and, discarded. Yeah. Yeah. Don, I, Don, I have a question for you. You know, yeah. just just playing devil's advocate. I just have a, what What do you think? You know, considering the information that came out about her, you know, quite possibly in what we believe to be, you know, um, not uh, John Gotti's biological daughter. Do you think that has an impact on how she acts and how she has to put on uh, this persona to like kind of prove her worth in a way where she goes above and beyond on here? Overcome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's an overcompensatory reaction yeah. formation. You know, she does right. that, uh, and, and I, I can assure you that that to such a person, when that came out as being widely public, you know, on this yeah. channel, okay, devastating, mm -hmm. devastating right. to someone like that. Yeah, uh, because yeah. she was outed. You know, it's just like you know, and if you notice, okay, the common theme with all of these people over on that side that one of the themes that they have in common is they are not who they say they are every single one of them is every one of them yes yeah, you're right who they say you're that they right. are right. yeah it, it, yep. it's all a fractured persona you yep. know in the intel world you know we always talk about you know go with the known and leave the unknown home alone i learned this in my like first year at in the camp okay go with the known and leave the unknown home alone, okay? What we know about uh, Angel Gotti is that she is not who she has always hoped and claimed that she would be. She is not, okay? She is somebody else. And down right. to the D DNA level, how do you think that that affects a woman, okay? And her psyche. Yeah. Oh, man. You know? yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Someone who to, kept her uh, yeah, last yeah. name after four marriages. Yeah. So, so you know, that's I look, I look, I look at this in one sense with the greatest amount of empathy, sympathy, and compassion for an individual who is seriously ill. I don't like to see anybody pounded upon when they are that ill. Okay. But, but, okay. I also look at it. And say to myself, if you don't want help and you keep doing the same thing you're doing, you deserve everything you deserve that you're it. getting. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So we should lay off, Don. We should lay off. 
no. I can't understand no. what her no. attraction is to MRE. Uh, um, that, that's very simple. You know okay. what? It, it's yeah. Yeah. simple because yeah. she, she doesn't yeah. want to ever admit that she was wrong. She doesn't want to admit she was wrong about her father, Go about ahead. her brother, about who her father yeah. is, you know? No. So the relationship, hey, between, yeah, the, the relationship between her yeah. and, and Anne Marie is, you know, bizarre and macabre in the first instance. I mean, any objective person, any objective person with about a fourth grade education would look at the intrinsic as well as the uh, the facial evidence of MRE's background and say he's a Nazi. He is a white supremacist. He is a person who is and was and may still be a confidential human source at a minimum and probably a wired source. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I love this guy. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and it's hard not to love him. Man. Thank, Thank you, fact. Jersey girl. Yeah. So, um, you know, so any, any fool would see the the basic evidence. I mean, how do you lie with, I mean, how do you deny hundreds of photos depicting you in the most, you know, negative light with Nazis around you, with Nazi, you know, kinds of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, Memorabilia, around you. paraphernalia. Yeah, par yeah, exactly. Nostalgia. And that doesn't even get into the guns and everything else. I mean, you cannot deny that. Right. You know, but she's capable of doing that. So Don, let me ask you this. Don, she can I ask you? She lets leak can I ask you a question? Nasty yeah, show, yeah, go. But she complains about morals and everybody else. Like, who tolerates that? JC, come up again. Uh, your, your microphone. Your Don, oh, no. Don, I got one question. For you. <laughs> she lets Lee Cole talk nasty on her show, but then she complains about morals. Why would she do that? Because, um, you know, so, my opinion would be that, uh, and it's the same rationale behind why she's so close to MRE, and that is because people who have that kind of low self-esteem, okay, low self-worth, self-loathing that, that, that she does have, because she knows in her deepest of deepest at a, at a very, you know, subconscious level, she is not the person to whom she has advertised herself to be. So that, that spawns low self-esteem, low self-worth, and what have you. Well, that's MRE all over again. That, that's what I, that, those people right. that get into that genre, you, you know, are all about low self-esteem and low self-worth and, and, and what have you. So I, that's who you she think it's, sank to. Go. I think I think that she also think it um, from sympathizes as a victim. She 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 feels as though he, he might be being portrayed as a victim, and she like relates to that in a way, like feeling yeah, like that. Even yeah. 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 Go ahead, well, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony, what do you want to ask? No, you know what I I, I just wanted to, I just want to ask you think that deniability with her with MRE stems from and everybody on this panel, Don, and including you, I I think you would agree her brother. Uh, cooperated with the government. He's no longer a uh, boss of the Gambino family. Uh, oh, he proffered and he's considered a rat or an informant, whatever term you want to use for him. Yeah. So she has deniability to that. You think that's got any relationship relation with uh, her deniability with MRE being a white supremacist? I, I, I have to go back to, I think, what Chris talked about some time ago. I, I think the real reason why she cannot come out and say anything negative about her brother, no matter what the circumstances are, is because there's a financial connection. Financial, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I, I think uh, that's the reason. That makes, yeah. That's her yeah. meal ticket. Yeah. That's her meal ticket, man. Yeah. That's the yeah. one that feeds it. She can't bite well, that yeah. hand. No, he's the back. No. He's the backbone well, of the family. Yeah, for the yeah, father, I, you know. I, yeah. you know, and, and and I think that if that weren't present, okay. I still don't think that as a matter of pride and what have you and, you know, what she's got to, you know, uh, portray on the theater screen about, you know, the Gotti family. I still don't think that she would ever admit that that her brother was uh, a cooperator, because here's the bottom line. OK, we all know this to be true. Anybody who tries to, you know, argue with this point is just doesn't understand the system. The moment that you appear before the FBI, before the U.S. Attorney's Office, seeking to mitigate your sentence or outcome in any way, okay, you are cooperating. You're asking sure. for something in return oh for giving for something. That's the bottom yeah. line. Yeah. Yep. The, yeah. 302 is, the, the 302 is a mere memorialization Damn. 
of what the individual is willing to give in exchange for getting. Right. That's yep. what a confidential mm -hmm. informant hey. is. That's a and problem. it has to be accepted. Wow. Well, of Don, course. Yeah. Don, yeah. If, uh, if you had a mic right now, I'd ask yeah. you to drop it on the floor. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Howie, Howie, I was going to say something similar to that. This guy's right on, Howie. Uh, well, unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he true, nailed man. it on everything. True. Chris, you got to have this guy on more often. No, no, man, what listen, he did was I, psychologically profile him. Yeah, yeah, I talk to Don all the time. Don is a brilliant man, I'm telling you, bro. He can, he can yeah, break Don, anyone down. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, you know, I, sometimes I, I'm afraid to ask him what he really thinks of me. Holy shit, he'll have me in know, fucking You know what I really miss about the military yeah. is being, having people like Don at my immediate disposal that I could talk to. Not only can I share personal things with and bounce it off of him, but, you know, business stuff, obviously, intel. I mean, he, he knows, you know what I'm saying? You got to have intel on your enemy. Yeah, Otherwise, right. you're just shooting in the dark, you know? And, yeah, and right. that's what he is. He's intel. And I'm, Don, you just, you just brought it back, man. That's why I, it's one thing I miss about the military is being around guys like you where I can just talk to and bounce things off. And, you know, you know Rob, like, it's, it's funny you say that. You know, I was working with, I, I love doing this, you know, because I'm still active <laughs> and what have inside. Yeah. But, um, I, I have to, uh, uh, hire some people to take over my former job because I'm being promoted and moving on. Um, and, um, so I pick a guy and I was actually, Rob, I was actually thinking of you when I did this too. I picked a guy, he's a 22 year Navy vet. He's a he all source Intel specialist. Uh, he's a program manager. Uh, he he uh, also uh, was a Betrix guy. He uh, handled you know hundreds of uh, of uh, uh, foreign country person cards. You know, in other words, you know, he did a lot of vetting and, and interrogations yeah, and whatever. Very very eclectic guy. And the Navy specializes in that. You know, you don't go in as one guy and then you're in in that single hole and what have you. This is a guy that that uh, has a very eclectic you know background and what have you. And um, I'm praying to God that he'll get the get the job. Um, but I love doing that uh, type yeah. of stuff. So, so may, um, yeah. may I ask you a million dollar question, Don? Yeah, yeah. What do you think the best way is to deal or, or approach somebody in a situation like this? W with respect to which person, a Angel? Yes, de dealing with you know. Her, her actions and how she handles things, and, and with a forward. fucking with a fucking bomb strapped to your waist. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, but yeah, besides the obvious, the besides the obvious, though, yeah, yeah. 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 The show is for entertainment. Okay. <laughs> there, Thank you, JC. There's only there there's only one strategy <laughs> with that type of person that would work in order to get a forced action. There's only one strategy, and that and I don't even know that that would work. The uh, give it the to us. to. Yeah, and, and that is you have to work through uh, <laughs> through John Jr. Uh, it has to be done. He's got to be able to see that this brand is damaging him forever, okay? He's got to understand and appreciate the fact that what Angel is doing is wrecking the family's brand for whatever that brand may be worth. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, and, right. yeah, and and he's got to see a financial nexus between that. In other words, he's got to see that right. that whatever she is doing is costing Negative. either him money or grief right. or misery. That's the I've only been way. Saying it for months. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've been saying. Yeah, you, you, yeah. yeah. You're, you're never you're you're never going way. to you're you're never going to get her. You're never going to be able to to get any argument at all that is going to work with her. Um, unless the day should ever come where, you know, she gets herself some help. And I don't see that on the horizon. Meaning well, the, you're not going to be able to reason with her. No, 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 no definitely no. not. No, well, the no. weird thing is, is that she's had her family members on here on a voice call telling her not to be on the Internet doing any of this. And she still mm. doesn't uh, she doesn't listen or take the advice. I, I don't get it. Well, but, but that's because you see that one of the family members is not saying to her, Angel, you go on that show one more time, okay? And this check is not being mailed to you this morning, okay? Yeah. You know, yeah. That oh, may work. I got you. Yeah. Right, and right, and right. you know what, Don? Um, coming from you, you know, uh, you, you're, you're actually, you know, an expert um, with these type of things. Coming from you, it means a lot, holds a lot of weight. 
Definitely. Well, I pre- Howie, that's Definitely. very kind of you, yeah. but it's yes. not, not, not yeah. true. It just, just comes from experience. That's an, no, no, it is. Yeah, it is, I mean. Howie. That was yeah. a great point. Yeah. But that's just yeah. it, Don. And that was yes. great, Howie. When you well, said drop it. the mic, that was the best. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I you know, uh, part of it is, you know, because of, you know, long time experience and doing the work that I've done, you know, in the DOD and the IC and what have you, we see all sorts of different types of, you know, situations and we're, we're trained, you know, we've you, gone through you, a lot of training. I you mean, have I mean, the credentials to speak on it. Right. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, what I, what I can say oh. is, is, is that, you know, Anybody Don, I know, that going Don, I know where you work. You got the credentials. Trust me. <laughs> Don, let me ask you a question. What yeah. What do you think would uh, get Lee or someone like him or uh, this other guy? Uh, I, I, this other guy could mean a number of these people off of here. And, uh, you know. Well, in other words, what? What is it that could be done in order to uh, get them to change course and, and what have you, and or to collapse their operation and what have you? Yeah, um, just stop. Just yeah. Stop. So, yeah. Either uh, maybe we should talk about that in private. Yeah, yeah, you, right. you'd have, they'd have to have shame though first. Uh, <laughs> Lee doesn't have any sense of shame at all, which is why he no, won't no. Laugh. No, he no I, I, I think uh, like with Lee, I'll tell you what would work with him. And that is, is that he's just got to be boxed into a corner <laughs> that he can't get out of. Oh, that is well, that, that, yeah, excellent. that is well publicized. Yeah. On YouTube. We're going to help you yeah, out with that. Don, yeah, well, I told Don, you Don, can I ask you a question? I told yeah. Go after right, his doctor with the, I said, go after his doctor with the meds. You heard him say he was sharing medication with uh, yeah. Indiana. Yeah, but you know, you know, D, but you know, Lee's like a cockroach, though. He'll survive a nuclear. He knows how to survive that. <laughs> Bro, that, that's that'll true. slow him down and and yeah. uh, physically him disable him from doing other things he would need to do in a timely manner. He can't help it. It's in yeah. his DNA. He is a con man. Two big con man. The, the minute he shakes your hand, he's sizing you up. He's looking for a way to and get I, over. I, him. And I well, think I think Lee and Angel feed off of each other like the chaos sure. they bring to each other oh, and make yeah, it yeah. way worse. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like oh, they're yeah, they're yeah, like definitely. oil and water together. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, all sorts of Lee the, is the, the, generally a car, uh, car accident, but then he throws somebody, an innocent person, in front of the car at the last minute before he gets hit by his own accident. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jason, you're the right about that. We get other people and, to and, take the fall for him. For yeah, fall and so so Don, one quick question. Yeah. Go. No, I was just going to say, like, you know how he got this kidnapping with this girl, right? You know, that's just, you know, that's just not, in my opinion, I want to know your thoughts of this, you know, one time incident. Like for me, that's a pattern that happened in his life. You know, he was talking yesterday on a show about he was in a foster home and he was abused, uh, sexually abused, abused in foster homes growing up. And uh, growing up like that, and I think he slipped when he was asked a question. They asked him about uh, me and Howie. Howie's got like a uh, um, couple of bucks put up for this woman. And I m- matched a little offer. Frankie matched a little bit to have this girl, Deanna, interviewed. And mm-hmm. the girl asked him, what are you uh, worried about, you know, this girl coming forward? And he, and he said, it's not her I'm worried about. There's other girls. And it got brushed right over really quick. So, uh, in my opinion, I think oh. there's a there's more woman wow, with he this said guy that? that he's worried about. Yeah, go he look back. And well, look no, back. she she deleted, it. she deleted yeah. it. she deleted it. Anthony, I think you're on. Then, well, then she and, deleted and, it. But I want yeah. Don's opinion with that. Yeah, Anthony, I think you're onto something in this respect. So, what is the number one thing, like poison, like poison? Okay, that a con man cannot tolerate. Okay. Getting Number exposed. one thing, exactly exposure. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly correct. Yeah. So, someone yeah. the other night, I heard this idea. I don't remember who came up with it, but someone came up with the idea of somehow or another tagging all of his uh, yeah, I said it. shows, right, yeah. right, uh, to link it back to certain things which would expose him for who he actually that was is. Me. I, I put that out there. Copy yeah. So, titles, so, so every time someone searches for it. 
Two right. videos will come up. Yeah, I, I did it too. Like yeah. Video exposing yeah. his eyes on the video. <laughs> right, right. And, and that, that would definitely work. Because what I was saying before was such people have to be cornered into, you know, a coffin, if you will, before it's like Dracula, uh, yeah. before <laughs> that they will go away. Because con men cannot tolerate exposure, okay? Yeah. Because then there's nobody yep. to con. Right. And he doesn't have right now, to my knowledge anyway, I don't ever watch him, but he doesn't have a, uh, a, a long-term partner on his show. Um, yeah. nope. You know, the last, yeah. last one was Danny Trio or Danny Smith. So yeah. what, what you got to, <laughs> what you got to kind yeah, of do is. Sort of was a washed up kind of guy already. Yeah, right. The sink exactly. washed yeah. up. Right, right. Yeah, with the underwear, <laughs> with the underwear. Yeah, with the anyway, yeah, yeah. so, so like with him, I think he's, he, the, the answer with him is simply to, um, to make certain that anybody who does do just a modicum of due diligence upon him as a prospective partner will quickly see what this guy is all about. Okay. That's what yep. I mean by exposure. Yeah. So that idea about, you know, yeah. tagging him, that's, that's actually what I would do. That's yeah, what I would do. Good. Yeah. Yeah. He actually, he actually, he needs someone, someone like, um, the, uh, like, like Angel to actually open up her eyes and see him for what he is to, to really, um, you know, affect him. Well, that's why I've been uh, being blatant in the titles with my show and shit. Hey, I'm just, this is my opinion. You can laugh, but I, I listen to them too. Their banter back and forth. And I really suspect there's sexual tension between them. I think if those two got in the same room, I think something might happen. Oh, man. <laughs> Bro. Oh, come on. Come on. It's Christmas Eve. We don't want to hear about it. might make a big deal. I, I uh, got in the same room and Angel had a cocktail. Yeah. I think those two would get it all. I really do. Bro, I think, I think you, yeah. you know, you know, that horse tranquilizer. Horse. You know um, <laughs> I, I used I used uh, Angel as an example, but that was a bad example. What I meant to say was someone that means something to him. Uh, seeing him for what he is, that that would that would really, you know, be an eye opener for him. And, and, yeah, and, but, you know, to my knowledge, I don't know of anybody that uh, means anything to Lee because Lee uses relationships like he does toilet paper. Okay? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and he and trash, he like trashes his own Benjamin. mother. He, he talks yeah. a lot about his own mother. Yeah. 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 Right. You know? yeah so, the grandmother didn't even talk to the mother. No. Yeah. It no. literally yeah, so, had to be money talking back to him and saying, Lee, I'm disappointed. You don't have the in factor. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, Don, let me ask you this about military kids. Uh, he Jesus. Credit for his what? kids' military accomplishments when he didn't even father those kids. It was the moms that raised them, and then they did their own, you know, career stuff in the military. Why would a guy, you know, co op the, uh, the accomplishments of their military kids? So, in other words, you're asking from the perspective of stolen valor and so forth? Sure, that's a bit of a stolen valor. It's sort of, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Well, part of it is, you know, uh, and I, we've had a lot of studies done on, on these issues involving stolen valor and what have you. And a lot of the people that have committed it and you know, why and, and so on and so forth. Generally speaking, it comes down to a, a need to be a part of something that you cannot be. OK, so everything about military service or service for, in my case, the DOD or the IC is all about teaming, collaboration, uh, the band of the brethren. We work together. We, we serve together. We team together. We depend upon one another to live, okay, literally out in the field and what have you. You know, our lives are, are, are dependent upon one another. And yep. I know people that I met. Yeah, I know people that I, I met, you know, on, on four tours in Afghanistan that I talk to and I'm friends with to this day, okay? Yep. And probably will for the rest of my life because that's the relationship yep. that is built. And, yep. and so well, the band... Yeah, you yeah. go through something yeah. with somebody yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So the, the band of the brethren, if you will, is a holy bond. It really is. Yeah. And, uh, and, and when you uh, create that bond... Um, the uh, uh, it's very attractive to people who do not fit in, who cannot be a part of, 
who find themselves adrift right. and what have you. And then they right, and right. then and they yearn to be, you know, that which they never are. Yeah. It's an iteration or yeah. a derivation, if you will, of the angel story. Again, you know, she isn't who yeah. she says she is. The stolen valor people are not who they say they are. You know, no no different. Can I add and something you, to that, Tom? Don, can I add yeah, something yeah. to that real quick? Right. It's the same thing when you when you when you say that with the guys like that are mobsters in that life like you know you got guys that came out that were mobsters in that life that made decisions to get out of that life but we still were who we were we were notorious in our fields we had uh, notoriety we had infamy we had that but we no longer part of that life you got these fakes that come on like a danny smith and i, I have a, a real big fat guy in my area same type of guy in my area you have so many of them that come out and try to create that in a similar fashion, what you just com explained about, but only in the mob world, you know, like yeah. they're trying to create the same thing in, in your world that you just said, but in our world, they're trying to create the same thing. And that's why, you know, we get knocked yes. a little bit here and there. It's not because they're trying to create infamy and notoriety that they can never get and never going to get only by fake stories. And then they eventually get exposed like this piece of shit, yes. uh, Danny and, Smith. Uh, and this I, big I'd like to say something in my area. That's also stolen valor also, Don, in my area. It's stolen valor as well. Go yeah. ahead, well I'd, like, I'd, like to, I'd like to say something too. If you notice on Angel's panel and in her chat, all the people, well, 99% of the people are misfits. No. Yeah, boy. Yeah. 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 That's a very good point, Howie. Yeah, and, and it's called uh, yeah. miscongruity, you know, miscongruity. And there's no congruity uh, between either themselves, you know, or amongst one another. Everybody is a misfit, you know. And, and you know, and, and these misfits, they, they all come together because that is their holy bond, you know, right. that, because that's what they got. You know, and it's like what Anthony was saying, and, and his, his point is right on, and that is that there are very strong similarities between stolen valor from the military and, if you will, stolen valor from the family, if you will, the mob family that yeah. is operating yeah. on, the, on the street. You know, there, yeah. there, there is a, if you will, I don't know a lot about this, Howie and others can, you know, opine, but there is a rigorous vetting process that one must go through yeah. before one is straightened yeah. out or made, okay? It's not like, you know, you sign up in a book and then someone calls you and says, okay, you're going to, you yeah. know, you're, you're welcome to join. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. You know, there's a rigorous you vetting it. process. You're, you're being studied yes. from when you're a teenager. Yeah. They're, they're, they're yes. watching you right. and seeing what your potential is. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah. you know, that that kind and then ultimately the climactic event, if you will, you know, in that life would be to be made. And of course, obviously, from that, from being an associate to then a soldier to then a, you know, a captain and so on and so forth. And all of that structure, if you will, equates to, if you will, of the band of the brethren. OK, yeah. so so really, it's no different. You know, it's no different. You know, yeah. it's, it's it exactly is, you know, even, even to uh, even even to participate in a hit, you know, forget about you know before yeah. you get made, but just uh, right. to part. Somebody's making a lot of noise, but to participate <clears throat> in a uh, in a hit, like in a uh, in a murder, let's just say, you know, mm -hmm. there's guys that don't get their buttons, but they still participated in in hits. But yeah. those those are along the same lines as what you would say in the military, uh, going to war. And being around guys that are in the act course of action of battle, and you're yeah. shooting it out, and uh, you're you're you know you're killing your enemies. You know maybe the guy next to you is the guy that killed two or three. You didn't kill. You were right by his right. side though. That's part yeah. of being in the war. That's the same thing as us being in our life in the streets. You know we're killing each other. We're killing bad guys are killing each other, and um, that's what we were about. And there's a lot right. of fakes, you know, that come afterwards. Just like you said, Don, you nailed it with, you know people get out of the uh, military and then they try to exaggerate their position. Oh, uh, yeah. well, I was, uh, you know, I had so many confirmed kills or I had a purple heart or I, I right. was a Navy SEAL or I was an right. army yeah. ranger. They exaggerate. Yeah. Then they get exposed. Same thing, right. yep. you know, in our life it, with inactive guys, if there were active guys, they'd have to, most of those guys get chased out of New York, out of mass, out of, you know, Philly, out of Chicago. 
They go to Florida. They try to create a new identity. They tell these people out there, oh, yeah, you don't know who I was. And, you know, they try to explain to who they were in those situations. And they'll get exposed eventually out there. But that's what's happening on the YouTube stuff with us and these fakes that come out with these stories <clears throat> knocking us. And, and just to end it, the, with the knock that they give us, that's what they're worse than us. That's what they yeah. are. And they get exposed for it. Danny Smith gets exposed. The, the kid MRE, he, um, he won't show his paperwork on that federal intervention that came in on yeah. his federal case where they told him they won't show that. You know, a kid no. in my area, he's an he's a notorious informant. He put his brother up to wearing a wire. They're all exposed, and she platforms them. And to just to nail it real quick, her brother cooperated. So all that's right. what you're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. and you know, Some and Anthony, he, here here's the proof of the pudding. Okay, and again, you can't overlook the obvious and not so much focus on the shiny rock on the road here. So with MRE. OK, I don't care what anybody has been saying and, and what he's saying and Angel saying, yada, yada, about the envelope, or yada, yada, yada. OK, totally irrelevant. The fact of the matter is he is a signatory to that agreement. OK, he could get it any day he wanted from his lawyer or from his own files because he's a signatory to the agreement. The agreement could not have been filed without his signature and that right. of his lawyer. OK, right. he he could produce right. that if he wanted and, and simply say to everybody, here is what was in the envelope. And it yes, has yes, nothing yes. to do with cooperation. It has to do with a mistake that was made. It has to do with guns that were returned to me because of an error or what have you or whatever. You know, the thing you says. better believe My only, he could prove his point against all of us to make us look stupid. Uh, he would have that, done that thing would right. be out this this afternoon or this evening. You know, right. so yeah. so it, it's total bullshit. And to yeah. Anthony's point, which is really a good point, and and I never really thought about it this way, but he uh, reminded me when he was talking about uh, he and Howie. You know, how many times have you heard some of these guys claiming that they were quote doing mob kind of activity? Okay, that they were they knew right. this guy right. in the Genovese family. They knew that guy on this street corner or whatever it might have been. Jan Danny Trio was, you know, being shot here and whatever. In other yeah. words, trying to importune himself into the family right. construct of the of the of the real mafia. Right. When in reality right. he's the guy who's always gonna be the one who's outside looking in. That's all he's ever gonna be. Right. Okay? So what do you think that that What's does the term for that, Don? What would be a term for that? Because in the Navy, a wannabe, you know, like, like, like stolen valor, you would call it stolen valor in the military, but like say a guy that's a fake, fake, fake street guy. The one I'm saying, but it's similar though. It's a similar, very, very similar, very similar scammer. Yeah. I mean, it's very similar. It's the wannabe, the guy that wants to be, but never could be the guy that always finds himself, even in childhood, who is outside looking in, never will be a part of because he was right. too much of a freak show. And everybody that, you know, is in that construct looks at him and says, you're a clown. Get the fuck out of here. You know, right. Uh, yeah. You know, one yeah. thing, you, you know, one thing that you were saying, Don, earlier, you know, about being it's it's you're part of a brotherhood, you know, and I can speak in, in, in my case, you know, when you are going through a war, you know, the guys that you're in bed with just about every day, those are your brothers. You know, right. you, your life is in their hands, you know, yeah. for all intent and purposes. You know, right. you know what it is that you're doing. You know, you're out there scheming, plotting twenty four seven. You know, yeah. and these guys that you're out, you know, in the trenches with, those are the guys that, you know, sometimes we have to trust. Even I could I could speak again on behalf of myself, you know, guys that you just didn't want to do things with because you didn't trust them. But right. you know, that's not our choice. But you know, you and, know, and, and I, I was thinking about this um uh during another show and what have you. Um, that people were talking about. I happen to hate the term rat, and here's the reason why. And I look at it strictly from a clinical perspective, okay? Strictly from zeros and ones. 
when you label a person a rat, okay, you are depriving that person the opportunity to give somebody context, okay, to give somebody your story, your footsteps, your history, your journey of what took you to the point where there was no other option. When you label someone that way, you deprive them of the opportunity to provide context. I mean, if you look at all of your guys' story, Jimmy and yours and, and, and Anthony and so on and so forth, before you had to arrive at that particular decision, there was a story. There was a long, long process that went, that went into it before, you know, you ultimately made the decision. So when you when when people like Angel and the rest of them, you know, say rat, 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 it deprives the individual the opportunity to say, OK, you don't know my journey. You don't know my real estate. You don't know the footsteps I had to walk in order to get to where I had to go, you know, to resolve this you know, problem and what have you. And that's what's so unfair about the label. That's what's devastating about it. Because each one of you has a compelling story, sure, and, yeah, and an amazing story. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Thank you. For that. We want to hear it, Thank and you. we as yeah. people well that, that watch and and like, we want to hear your story. Who the hell are they to say that you shouldn't tell that you can't tell your story? I want to hear your story. Absolutely. You know what I mean. So, and there's something to be said, Don, and you know when you when you're. I have people that have known me my whole life, friends, but then I have the people that I serve with in combat. And there's something about putting your life in another man's hands. He puts his life in your hands. There's bonds there that I'm closer with, with those guys in a certain, in a different way than I can be with friends that I've known my whole life. There's a, there's something different between me and those guys, my band of brothers that I was in battle with. There's a different kind of closeness, you know what I'm saying? A whole different world. Yeah. And Don, you know. with that word rat, the only people that even have the right to use that word are active current criminals who are not rats. And if they're referring to cohorts of theirs who are informing, the reality is, is that the system relies upon that. And the people who use that term rat or whatever like that, they're trying to dehumanize the person that's that they're referring to. And try to yeah. make it sound like they have no credibility because they informed on somebody. The real when the reality is, compared to other criminals, informants have at least been vetted typically by the FBI and others. They they match up actual facts like wiretaps that the feds can match up to the person's words to make sure they're not lying. Now, are there some guys who come out and lie when they go on the internet? Sure, but in terms of Who's more trustworthy, the average criminal who's never been vetted by any federal agents or any cops or the one whose words have been at least cross-referenced against legitimate forensic evidence, legitimate evidence that the cops have Good to point, right good point. Et cetera. Yeah. Well, and let me tell you, you know, JC, long before you're going to get your signed deal with the government, okay, long before they put their signature on that cooperation agreement and make it binding upon the U.S. government. The review process all the way up to Maine Justice is incredible because um, oh, yeah. there, 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 there is a process under which they uh, validate the data. And, uh, yes. and it, it is done through a very methodical, extremely rigorous process that they follow yeah. and at the end of the day it's not up to the single you know a lot of people forget this it's not up to the single fbi agent it's not up to the single u.s no. attorney they don't have that type of power it has to There's go through right review now. okay all the way up yeah. to main justice because you're talking about giving a guy immunity for murder okay that can only be done by the associate attorney general of the united states that's a fact yeah. okay yeah. in charge, yeah. of, in, in charge yeah. of the criminal division yeah. So yeah. the, before the government, before the, the Department of Justice is going to, you know, get involved with that kind of plea agreement or cooperation agreement, it goes all the way up. Um, and oh, in order for it to go all the way up, okay, there is a China wall. There's a vet wall. That's not the agents. It's other agents that are doing all of the vetting that are that are that are walled yeah. away from the operational agents. Yeah. Who, who do all of the checking and the vetting and whatever. Right. Yes. And nine, nine times out of 10, they usually Don, know Don, the you, answers too, you know? You're just confirming yeah. what well, they Don, already you, knew, basically. Don, you, the, 
the way you just explained it, it means that you had to be involved somehow, some way, because you just said 100% exactly. If somebody had to explain it, they couldn't explain it any better what you just said right there. Well, thank you. And, and uh, of, only somebody on the know, only somebody in the, in the inside would know, would know that. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. Look at the guy, Casso. Casso, he went forward and, and, uh, and just like you said, there's so much vetting, vigorous vetting and, and um, investigation into what they say. The guy, uh, Gas Pipe, uh, he came forward. They were going to give him a deal. And he, I think he had 36 murders. They were still going to give him a deal. But, uh, you know, but it fell right. through and he ended up dying in prison in life, you know. Right. You know, right. so there's a vigorous vetting going in with that process. Yeah, and you know, see, Don, you know, plus really you gotta to say what they want too. The word is because of what you said earlier. She had sort of like a an under siege mentality growing up, where her dad and others were filling her head with propaganda about how the government is evil. They're trying to target your innocent daddy. You're trying to. They're trying to ship your daddy out for an Italian vacation and stuff like that, right? <laughs> yeah. And so. She grew up hearing that the worst thing on earth is the rat because the rat's putting daddy in jail. And right. she, that's why she's obsessed now. Yeah. Dominic Crea oh. is a perfect example of that also. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's that, be that's honest, a very, that's though. A very good the point. government yeah. was after them relentlessly. So, but not because they were. Uh, no, uh, not because they were good guys and law abiding citizens, but. You know, it still doesn't take anything away from constantly being harassed by law enforcement, followed, you know. Well, you know, think of think about it this, uh, you know, from this perspective. And again, I say this looking at the light most favorable to Angel and doing it with through the eyes of somebody that. Uh, you know, is looking at this with with empathy, with compassion, and with sympathy for what she was facing from the very beginning of her life. You know, in that household, chaos constantly. The idea that that her father, you know, was always absent because he was with another family. The fact that his his her mother was always residing in a state of fright because she never knew when her husband would come up either dead or wouldn't come back at all, okay? Yeah. The constant right. mirage of, of national publicity, you know, pounding, 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 you know, her father, putting him through what they put him through, right or wrong, okay? Um, and, the, and, and the effect that that had on her psyche. So how does, you know, it goes back to what I said before, how does such a person coexist in that kind of a pressure cooker? The only solution is an alternate reality, not a parallel yeah. reality. And the, yeah. and the reason is, is because the real reality, okay, her real life yeah. is so we'll sad, so tragic, you know. And here's the thing that I just want to yeah. end with on this point, and, and that is that it's sad. And, and the reason why I say it's sad is because yeah. if Angel really, really were in touch with herself, okay, she would be the biggest thing on Mop Two. She's got yeah. the name. Yes, she yeah. could. She she could tell the stories. Yes. You know of what it was yes. like going up in that yes. house. You know she had huge yes. potential for her show. She yeah. really could have yeah. done something really good oh if she was God. more like yeah. Nita. Hey yeah. Don, yeah. Don, can I say one thing just to this? We yeah. all and everything, everybody here will agree with me that on this panel, nobody had anything negative to say about her brother. We all, yeah. we all, uh, we all uh, commended her brother for making the decision that he made with a notorious mob boss to get out of that life, to yeah. to work a deal out with the government, proffer, sit yeah. down with them, go home to his family, kids. He had money. We, nobody ever. I always said it. For I got home in 2017 before she even got on. I always spoke good about the kid and about that. Yeah. And everybody here, I think, would agree with me the same way about him. The reason he gets attacked. <laughs> And the reason is because she came on, started platforming on, you know, if she came on, just like you said, if she came on with that name and with her, she could have like uh, Karen Gravano did yeah. a show and yeah. she, mm -hmm. and she was successful. And she did, yeah. if she came on as Gotti's daughter and try to, you know, bring on guests as being Gotti's daughter, you know, guys mm -hmm. maybe that were past life 
and did stories and, and kept it like that, like a uh, a Vlad TV, Patrick Bet David tried to build it up to a champ, Joe yeah. Rogan, build it up to a champ. But she didn't. She got into the fucking uh, yeah, slums and tried to come yeah, after and gutter- you know, and, and, I, and, yeah, Exactly. And, right. And, here's the and thing, that's why Anthony. she gave. And here's the thing, okay? If I were her showrunner, okay, hypothetically, if I were her showrunner, I'd sit her down and I said, Angel, here are the guests I want you to put on, okay? Number one, in the beginning, it's going to be all women. And who? Uh oh. Yeah. I want to ask him about UFOs and stuff. Uh, Don, we need you. Come wait. back. His oh, generator shit. Don might froze. Have died. His generator, his generator might have gone. Yeah. I, hope so. I hope not. FBS, FBS, yeah. you got to have him on more often. Yeah, listen, I had this him on an addiction a, recovery guy. show before, man. He's a, does he have a name. show, man? No, this no. guy is right on. Yeah. No. Hey, I, no. yeah, yeah, you should have like a, a once a week, you know, we can get yeah. this guy on and everybody come on because this guy's right on. He's nailing everything. Bro, after yeah. you hear him breaking someone down, you're just happy yeah. to have him on your side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want this guy right. analyzing But you know what? Me. But he Don gets it. You know, day. here's a guy Don's that's... Got a full-time, Don's got a full-time gig. He 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 has a full-time job. He's... He's hard he's, to get uh, on the show. Yeah. 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 He, he yeah. wouldn't have time, but yeah, he... he He's a good actor. I'm sure we can get him. For, yeah. We can get him for an hour, an hour a week. We can grab him. Oh yeah, he yeah. would do it if he has the time. He'll definitely come on. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. there's what, a difference. What a great guy! Him. He doesn't he have just to said, do research. He he knows everything already. Oh, listen, yeah. the yeah. way he the way he got on here, he's he's also like a speech a speech pathologist, and uh, you know he was basically listening to all of us and breaking down the way we speak yeah. and what it tells you about us and and all this other shit. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, yeah. bro. He he's got a lot of knowledge. He just texted and said, "Power and generator just went down. I'll try yeah. to come yeah. back as soon as I can. Godspeed thanks, to Don. everyone." Wow. And it was fantastic. Merry Christmas, yeah. Don. Yeah, thank hey, you. Merry Don. Christmas, Don. Yeah. Godspeed. Merry Christmas, thank you. brother. Don, I, Don, I really Don. enjoyed. <laughs> Stop talking, JC. Stop it. Anyway, go on. <laughs> Don't, say so nothing, right Don't say nothing, JC. Don't say nothing. Yeah, Don's Don's good, man. He's great to have on. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Don't, Don't say, say nothing. nothing. Please, I see that in my house now. Everybody's like, why do you keep saying that? Hey. <laughs> Don't say nothing, Lee. Don't, Don't say, say nothing. nothing. <laughs> that could have went any better by having him. You know, it's one thing when we all have, uh, you know, common um you know we're going at a certain uh, yeah yeah you know we're beefing or this, but when you have a guy like that come on and explain everything and the way he did oh my god that was like the the stake through their heart right there yeah you want to you know you know what i'm hoping i'm hoping that they're able to catch this and maybe they'll listen and be like well you know what this guy just made a whole ton oh. of fucking sense this guy just made a whole oh for sure the sense. texas you know the, the kidnappers well, you, you, you listening right now. Earlier, right now, bro, of course. You yeah. brought up the junior That's the first because... person she's got to get rid of. Yeah. They're listening. I agree. They're watching right, right now. They're sure. actually they're watching. Listen, right. all I know and, is and, and, the, and, and, and the stepdaughter. Because I said that his 302 was a cry for help. And I said, look, as a former criminal, I understand how stressful it can be. And, you know, and I even referred to it as saying Gotti Jr. 302 was actually a blessing for him because it got him away from this. And at the time we were friends, I was helping her out with, you know, going at, I was arguing with Gene Borello and some others. And she called, she's like, has her guy get a hold of me saying, you know, what was that for? Uh, a cry for help. My brother didn't need no damn cry for help. And I'm thinking, <laughs> what? She don't even understand what I tried to say. I was trying to empathize with the dude. And because everyone who's actually been real he, at some point, he went to his own father. It can be and stressful. It can be because you you can't get caught. You got to be secretive about this or that. And you guys understand all that. But she was like, "What do you mean it was a cry for help?" It's, you know what I'm saying? That's and that's how I got here. Well, well, the the, first, the, the first conversation. Thing, the first thing she needs to do is to uh, check her ego. OK, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I can speak for myself and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. You know, we've all checked our egos at the door. And, yeah. You know, 
At some point. Oh, that's the yeah. difference. Yeah. yeah. A while ago. And her brother, her brother pled, you know, pled. He had a cry for help with his own father, and his own father basically, you know, you know, turned him down flat out. He he didn't even want to hear what his own son had to say. Just Disowned the, him. A, a, a father yeah. and son level, not even that street level, just personal, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah. Listen, she'll, guys, she'll never admit she's wrong or anything like that. What's up, Bill? No, never. never. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say that um, if I was Junior and I was in his shoes and watching that documentary and watching, you know, that prison visit, bro, let me tell you, that would have broken me. Heartbreaking. As a, as a son, yeah. that would have broke me, man. It would have literally, it would have broke me. Yeah. Uh, well, that's yeah. why, you know, listen, I make fun of him a little too because this guy is still obsessed with his father. He's as bad as Angel is. And and, and I've heard him yeah. say that he don't even know if his father loved him because he brought him into that life. But yeah. yet you go on right. Instagram or some shit and, and on his birthday, on, on John Sr.'s birthday, you'll see John Gotti still praises him like he's the greatest man in the world. He literally says those words. Well, I mean, it's yeah. fucking, well, it's insane. But he actually, I will tell he you actually that. showed his love for Junior because he knew that's what Junior wanted, and he gave it to him. Yeah, yeah. look what it took. Exactly. Yeah, but you yeah. know, but I will tell. Ahead, I will man. tell you this, right? Right. If it was me, you know, guys that were in the life, Bill, Howie, you know, you know, people that were uh, in that life, and it was in the eighties, and we sat down and proffered, like his son did, right, and. Uh, and then the deal didn't go, you know, through. They didn't accept us. We went to trial, beat the case. When we came out on the street, John Gotti Sr. would have had us murdered for doing yeah. what John Jr. Yeah. Gotti did. Am and I right, know, Bill? Am I right, Howie? Yeah. Would Absolutely. that have happened? Will we, if it was in the 80s, Carmen Persico, Vincent well, Giganti, uh, uh, Gas Pipe Casso, right. all those guys, yeah. if they came out that we proffered with the feds, but then we took it back, and then we went to trial, beat the case, came out. Well, they would have said, "Yeah, great job. We're gonna have a celebration party. Let's go over here." But we would got. They would have not, never nah, saw her. Dad well, and, that, and Anthony, no you know how we know jail. that that's hundred percent true because look at what happened to Willie Boy Johnson. That's what Willie Boy Johnson did. Yeah, yeah. My, exactly. He went to trial. My, my boss, he went to trial and refused to testify. Went went to trial with Gotti, Tony Lee Guerrero, and it would have been Della Croce. They beat the case, and three years later, he still killed him. He never testified against nobody or right. anything. Yeah. He did the same thing. Junior my, did. my boss, my boss, that the Genovese yeah. family in New York ordered murdered, only talked to a, an agent, just like uh, you know, a, a casual Talking. conversation. But but you know it was a bad conversation and they and they put it down a, in a document. He's dead because of that. And you're telling me that if it was a a, a a proffered session where you went in and gave up information, my boss is dead. That, that's yeah. all I got to tell you. And it was tell ordered by the Genovese that, family in New York. Tell me that would have somebody that would have survived if it wasn't the boss's kid that did that. But I, I think I think the father would have taken it more seriously just because of the man that he was and what he believed in that his own oh, yeah. son would disrespect him in that way. He would have to do it as a, a, a you know, a point of just of who he was. You know what I mean? That's he would like he would have he would have killed Junior just because of how how bad out of it principle. made a senior. Yeah, look. you know what out I mean? Of principle, like, yeah, yeah. Out of you think so? He was yes, more worried about his image than face. anything. Yeah. He would have to say, I don't think, yeah. he wouldn't uh, have killed him with his own hands, but I think he would have allowed him to be killed. And yeah, if he didn't allow work. him to be killed, he I definitely would have shelved him I, and yeah, banished him. Would've, yeah, he would have been he chased. Yeah. Shelved him or thrown him to Florida. Well, what what yeah. message would it what message would it send that if you're a mob well, boss, you're gonna lost. let your own son talk and you're not gonna do nothing but chase the guy? Yeah. What does that say about everybody else? He would have had to kill him yeah. out of principle. Yeah, that's, I, that's, I think that's, I think they would have killed John Senior if he didn't. Know. They would have killed Senior exactly. Yeah. yeah, if he didn't follow up on that, they would have said he was weak. If you don't deserve to be in that spot, he ain't really about it. Then if he can't do that, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. they would have killed Senior for sure. Yeah, that's my, that's my opinion. That's a, though. I'm not saying a, I'm right. That's, that's just my would've... opinion. You know. No, no, no. Yeah. That, that's what would have happened for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, what a beautiful. What do you think your father would have thought about that, Bill? <laughs> Bill. Well, listen, I could say this. It's a very simple question. I, I Chris, I, I posed this question once. I actually I think maybe it was on my podcast. Um, 
I said, look, for anybody that wants to question whether, again, I'm not going to use the rat word, but if you want to question whether John Jr. is an informant or not, all you have to do is say this. If John Sr. was still alive, yep. if John Jr. was still facing his trial, and mm -hmm. he would have took that proper session. Do you think he would have done it with his father alive? No. No. no absolutely Never. not. There's no Never. So right there. Nope. Right there. Anybody that wants to question it, that's the only question you have to ask. And the answer is evident. Hey, and, but and, I, and I got a question, Bill, for you. Yeah, Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill, Bill. Yeah. In that life, what, and, and how we, um, that was a major, major decision that he made to sit down and proffer being that his father number one was who he was a, a notorious gambino boss but also he was a gambino boss himself he was the boss of him. Who for is him that? to go for him to go and proffer and to go to that extreme and sit down with the government was such a major decision that you know where he was going with that by by actually yeah. just doing that step. That step right there is a death penalty. That step right there is a death sentence if it comes out. And he knew that. And him in his position, knowing who he was, that was a death sentence uh, meeting that he did, proffer meeting that he did with the feds. That was a major, major. He, 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 there was no he, coming back from that. I, he no. he admitted to me. Oh, sorry. I'll go he hired uh, Charles Canisi because he didn't want Charles running around out there talking about what he did to Danny Marino. Yeah, because he had yeah. his paperwork. Yeah. Right. yeah. And yeah. Angel admitted when I spoke when I spoke on her show one time, I made the comment that I said when Junior did, took that meeting, he in essence shelved him, shelved himself, and she had, she agreed with me and admitted that on her show. Well, listen, I said that a long time ago. I said, look. When he made that choice, John, in the back of his mind, or maybe in the forefront, he's thinking to himself, look, the only way out for me is either they're going to clip me or I'm going to jail for the rest of my life, or yeah. they find yeah. out I sat down, I was clean for a day. I, I don't like the term, but it is what it is. I was clean for the day, and they're going to shelf me. And then exactly. I'm done with that life, and I can focus on my family where my focus should be. So, yes, Anthony, you were right. Howie, you were right. It was the smartest choice that guy could have ever made. And I, and I know if I ever had him on the phone and spoke with him, I guarantee you, or not on the phone, but if we ever were to meet and speak, I guarantee you that you would probably say the same thing. And that's that's and just me. And let me ask you this, Bill. Bill. Bill, yeah. Bill let me ask you this real quick. Yeah. If he got found guilty, I won those cases. <laughs> yes. Yes, Anthony. Yes. If he got found guilty on those cases, right? Oh, he would have. My opinion, and I think everybody would agree. Once he made that decision to sit down and proper, so now he said, "Fuck it. He's got to go to trial. He goes to trial." And I heard all kinds of stories. There was one that he didn't want to leave the uh, when he was going to get sentenced on one of them. He wouldn't leave the uh, holding cell. He thought he was guilty. And uh, yeah. my opinion, and uh, I just want to hear your opinion. I, I think I know what it is, but he would have flipped after if he got found guilty. Yes. Yeah, he would have pulled a Joe Messina. Yeah. Same thing. But, yeah. You, but yeah. again, it, it would have been the, the rock solid smartest choice. He would have had his money, his right. family. And he would have been, yeah. you know. And I'm not whatever. knocking that. I'm not but knocking I, I, him I for doing it either. Yeah. Let me ask yeah. a question. I think. Why does he seem so snobby and, like, uh, seems like he acts better than you guys? Well, because, listen, we, we signed cooperation agreements and he didn't. And, uh. And I'm going to tell you my opinion. Also because of who his father was, I think. Yeah, he was brought up Just that way. Credit, yeah. But, but, yeah. but don't forget, don't forget, he went to, how many trials did he go to? Three or four? Four. He had four. Four, four. four. four trials. He, attacked, he beat well, four trials. Five. He had attack, if you go to, two. so if you go to four trials and you get five, four hung juries, you know, uh, yeah. mistrials, hung juries, things like that, that's something you can hang your hat on a little. 
you know, you did yep. take him to trial and you, uh, yep. so that's something that you could say, you know, he can hang his hat on a little bit and say, yeah, you know, he civilian. fought the government, which he did. Yeah, to a, yeah, a, to a, his, right, yeah exactly. a regular person. But in yeah. our life, see what, and, and, and that's a hundred percent. Like I, you know, he did fight for trials. He did do that. They were trying to nail him to the cross. Yes, I agree with that. But what people don't, to, like you just said, the civilians, what they don't understand in our life, that time he sat down and did a proffer, he's a dead man. When when you sit down and you did that proffer, right, that's it. It's over. There's no. You go to a sit down and yeah. Bill, Bill, your case, Carmen Persico's alive. You go to a sit down, Carmen too. Persico's there. And uh, John Gotti's uh, there. And uh, Fat Tony Solar, Vincent Chichin is there. And you come out and you say, listen, I got a beef against Junior Gotti. Uh, he proffered. And here's his 302. What are those three bosses going to say at that sit down? Kill him. That's Bye. It. Kill him. Bye. Yeah. yeah. I listen, mean, and that's John, not even being nasty to the kid. John Jr. Okay. was going to do whatever he had to do to get back to his family. Yeah. 100%. And you I know, agree. I don't, I don't hold it against him, but you know, his Me sister neither. is attacking, is attacking everybody, and that that right. that's what makes you know us bitter. And she had no right. She has no reason. Listen, I get it. There was one guy in the case, or a couple guys in the cases that testified against her brother. If she wants to attack them and hold the grudge, whatever, maybe you give her a benefit of doubt with that. Let's just say. But what she did was she went on in this platform and she just started doing this shit, get, getting these these trolls, these these low lifes to come onto her platform. I mean, scum. You know, yeah. you got this Chicago muscle. You got this fat pig in my area. You got fucking um this guy uh, MRE, fucking rat little weasel Baker from Providence, right? She gets all these scumbags and platforms them, the fat right? Pig in Instead Texas. of going the opposite route. That's why she's stuck at what her she ain't growing. Karen Gravano blows her out of the fucking water with the shit that she's got going on with her father. She yeah. can't she can't do nothing this girl. You know, that that that's the funny thing, you know. Um that ooze, you know, he, he put up his thumbnail the other day, and I think there was like what, nine of us on the right hand side, and then and forgive me here, Michael, if you watch this RJ, uh, I'm not speaking ill of anybody, but and then they had Michael, right. Mikey Scars on the left-hand side of the screen, right? Then underneath Michael, it says informant. Then underneath us, it says rats. Mm. And I'm yeah, like, well, what there rats? you go. That lets you know who's nuts he's trying to right. lick next. Yeah. My, my, my point is, is like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, what? Say that it doesn't again, mean say anything. That again, say that again, Bill. What do you say? I didn't hear I'm it like, else. I'm trying to figure out, like, what the fuck that means. Like, you know, we toddle back and forth between using the R word or the informant word, but we both know that they mean the same thing. So he's claiming you, know, you guys but didn't take responsibility. At the, and he's at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, Bill, this is what it means. We all owned up for what we did. We don't make excuses. We are who we are. We all have our each individual story and our each individual story we can explain and, and talk about, but we own up to it and there's no hiding nothing. We, we show our faces, we, we tell it like it is. So there is no, what, what he did doesn't make sense at all. What he did, you it know, like, like, uh, as far as, um, it makes sense to me. I don't know. It's, it seems like he car, um, you know, compartmentalizes the same thing that his sister does when it comes to the shit that he did in his life too, you know? In a way, yeah, that yeah, makes sense, brother. You know, makes sense. And then when he goes right. out and he's gonna write this Witsec Mafia book, when you know he should probably be in the book, is a little bit probably disturbing to people. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she acts like like cooperators put innocent people away. Exactly. True. True. Exactly. That's why right. that's how she acts. Exactly. Even though the rat, the person that's informing may not even have been, have never lied at all, but they'll still always say her, Dominic. They always use the phrase "the lying rat." They don't even refer to them as people, but, or even like the pronoun of a person. They use the pronoun "the," the lying. See, rat. this the this Dom dude. I have no clue who the fuck he is. I knew who Stevie was, but. Who? What is he? The son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's one of the but, other ones. But, uh, but that told me a little bit about him 
when I met him in LA back in March. I'll, I'll tell you guys off the record. This is what what he that, told me. Yeah, about. Right. That, that's why I have such a problem with him, though, because if one, if one of you guys were able to give testimony to defend his father to get him out of prison and prove one of the other guys was uh, lying about something, yeah. he'd call you a great guy and have you on the yeah, stand tomorrow. Me. You would yeah, call you tomorrow. Yeah. Good yeah. point. You know what I mean? He'd do it in two seconds. You know, it, it only fits their narrative when when it's useful to them. Otherwise, they 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 push this bullshit. You know. Well, bro, Lee Cole did the same thing with A Light back when he was trying to kiss up to him. He started saying that well, John, what John A Light did wasn't that bad. People didn't go to jail because technically Junior won the trials or got mistrials, so technically Junior didn't actually go to prison because of John. And same thing with Gene. He was like. You know, he went from saying that Gene used to rob old ladies to saying that Gene was robbing other gangsters. Now, apparently, Gene went back to robbing old ladies in Lee's world. You know what I mean? And don't also forget that these are the same people that said that they don't uh, they don't call John Jr. a rat because who did he put who did he testify against and put in prison? That's right. so basically right. what they're saying is that. As long as somebody what takes a, a a plea deal that you told on, then you're not a rat because they took a plea too. Like I don't understand that. It makes right. no sense. You know, I don't even There's know no if Danny rat. Marino is he still alive? Is Danny still yeah. alive? Oh, oh, no, yeah. Go no, ask the Danny. Old man, no, the old man's dead. This, no, no, he Danny died, he died yeah, like or, two years two years ago, I think. How like about that. Joe Watts? How about Joe Watts? He's yeah, he's alive. alive. He's, he's alive. out. I think. I yeah, think and how about Johnny Gamarino? Go ask them. Go ask them if 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 Junior's a rat. Now, oh, these are all guys that, especially Joe Watts, I used to bounce with that man yeah. in the city. Let me tell you something. There was no other guy that you wanted to hang out with. And yeah. if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't have thought he was a gangster unless you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Bill, I read him, something. Of, yeah. Yeah. Well dressed. Oh, yeah, I read man. something about Joe Watts. I read that he was a real, real fun guy to hang around. You know, he's like people do taught Joe Gotti how to dress. Yeah, I remember reading yeah. about. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm a, a dresser, man. Yeah. Like when I first yeah. caught up with him, like my first time, I think I was like twenty-one or twenty-two, and when I caught up with him, and he was sizing my clothes up, and I'm looking at him going, "Man, where, where do you shop?" He's like, you <laughs> shot. But let me tell you something. If you took his hat, if you opened the door, it didn't matter. You got a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a yeah, hundred. Yeah, you never yeah, waited yeah. for nothing. It was, it was. He was just a beautiful dude, man. He, he really. I, should, I was younger. You know, that crew, that crew right there. Joe Watts, Danny Marino, Johnny G. Marino. I was dealing with guys uh, Johnny that P were with them. I wasn't even. Uh, yeah, and let me tell you something. Those guys used to go out to dinner, and uh, it was like the the dinner checks would be like in the thousands, like you know, five thousand, ten thousand. The 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 they used to tip the the waitresses and the waiters. They used to throw money at them, the money because they were doing them things. Remember back then with the um, the with calling the cards. cards, calling cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and I was doing a lot of business with uh, with all their guys, and I wasn't even, uh, you know, I was I was nowhere near being made. I was just selling marijuana with, with the guys underneath them, and uh, they were in their crew, you know, with everything and it, everything you just said. I mean, they were well dressed. They went out. They 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 lived the the, the like you're supposed to live a, as a gangster. That's right, and that's and that's how I got close to Frankie Cali. Um, with the phone cards, because he's the one that got that that whole ship jumping. And, you know, Frankie was another sweetheart of a guy, quiet guy, barely even cursed, didn't like to hang out late at night, wasn't a womanizer, um, just a, a real down third kind of guy, but a serious dude nonetheless, you know. You know, yeah. what a lot of people don't know is um, – a guy named Jackie Cannon was the guy who picked out a lot of John's clothes and, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, dressed. Yeah, I remember that from way back when, bro, right? Yeah. You go get a sweater. They said Joe Watts uh, helped him out a lot, too. Well, well, yeah, Joe Watts, like, like kind of, like, set the standard, but it was Jackie Cannon who actually went out and, and purchased stuff for him. Left him. 
I think I think it was Mikey sound. Mikey Scars or somebody was saying that when uh, Joe Watts would go buy like uh, those hand painted ties or, or like you know ties if there was five of them on the shelf he'd buy all five and make sure that nobody else ever had had one like he did. <laughs> I thought it was the <laughs> and and it's don't true. forget Joe Watts was as violent as they come too. He was no like oh, yeah. slouch. I mean that dude oh, no. was a killer. Yeah. He was a killer. He tortured that dude, that crazy guy who took a pot shot at uh, Gotti. They thought it was an assassin, but it was just oh, a Jimmy crazy Heidel? guy. No, the guy that was outside the social club, that, that he, fi he fired a gun outside of it. They thought it was an attempted hit, but it was just some nutcase. They wound up killing him and torturing the guy. Yeah. I forget his name. I don't remember what his name was. Yeah. They, yeah they, he they, was they, just a mental, he was mentally ill. He was just there just to be, you know, it was not. It was like that Cuomo Cali guy, the guy that Cali situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The guy that right, right, It was yeah. MRE's dad. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, shit, Frankie, I didn't even know you were there. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's up, Frankie? Guys? Hey, what's, what's up, up, Frankie? What's up? Merry Christmas, Merry brother. Christmas, Frank. Hey, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody. Yeah. What's going on? Bon Natale, Frank. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Francesco Ferrellino. What's up, um, buddy? What hey, Frank. Frank, <laughs> yo, go get me a coffee. <laughs> yeah, 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 right away, right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it. Hey, get me one. Hey, Frankie, Frankie, get yo. me a double with his little zip. <laughs> Well, did you guys hear? Did you guys hear what Lee what uh, Lee said on that show the other day? <laughs> that he abused his brother and uh, suicide. No, Lee, Lee made Lee made Bill's cracking up. Lee made a comment. Lee made a comment trying to say that uh um you know Bill and 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 Howie and and Frank and these guys weren't real gangsters because they weren't made. And then you have to go and look and right. go tell Joe Watts he wasn't a real gangster because he didn't have his butt. You know what I mean? Like, that's how <laughs> stupid this fucking guy is, you know? He's an imbecile. He really is an imbecile, that guy. <laughs> you want to laugh? Espresso with him one day. Like he got a weapon. Uh, Wait, you want to laugh? She got a kid that All she can do is someone, say, I have someone to, close to me. Someone close to me said to me yesterday, I think. I, I don't know where. I, I, I was in the mall shopping. And uh, I took a call. And... They followed the mob, the mob drama, and and they turned around and said, "Uh, does this this guy, this dude out in what is it, Texas, Bill?" I'm like, "Yeah, Texas." Like, does he have any idea? Like, if he was in in a room with any one of you guys, singly, not even all together, just one of you at a time, he's like, that guy would be trying to climb out a fucking window. But he don't look like he can get up the fucking window to get the fuck no. out. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, you know what the problem is. He would fall out. Yeah. 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 He would <laughs> die problem with that. Going so fucking fast. <laughs> hey Frank, I like your idea from the other day. And Lee, it, it would only cost about three hundred bucks for us to make a flyer that that points out all the crap you do and have it mailed to all fifty-two of your neighbors in that complex. It's like a dollar oh, per envelope. Yeah, what's wrong with the, with the fucking jack o' lantern look? We got no teeth in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jack o' lantern. <laughs> fucking bastard. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, guys, I got to dip out, man. My family's probably wondering what the fuck happened to me. They opened the door about four times, they stuck their head out and they put it back in. <laughs> Right, well, uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, Bill. Merry Christmas, Bill. Thank you. Christmas, Bill. Thank you for coming on, Bill. Merry Christmas, Bill. Thanks, Ray. You know that. By the way, it looks similar. To I'm going to bounce too, guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas, Bill. Hey, right. listen. Merry Christmas, guys. From my heart to yours. From my table to yours. From my yeah. family to yours. Enjoy. <laughs> love one another. Hug each other. I love you guys. And if I don't speak to you tomorrow, I'll, I'll probably hit you up. Merry Christmas. But I'll talk to you probably early in the week. All right, bro. Okay, Bill. Right. Hey, Bill. Bill. All right, Bill. Bill, Merry, Bill. Bill. Merry right. Christmas. Thank you. Merry buddy. Christmas. Hey, call me. Co-host Merry Christmas, too. Stay in touch. All right. I will. I promise. I love you guys. Love you, too, bro. Hey, oh, yeah. by the way, tell that ooze. Um, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think we all earned the show on Lee Cole's uh, channel. What do you mean? 
you know, like he's going to make an attack video now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 A rage yeah. video, a rage Absolutely. video. The funny yeah. part about <laughs> Lee when he says that, like, I'll do a show on you, dude. Who gives a fuck? Lee has done yeah, he, yeah, probably right. 200 he, shows on me, and it has yet to affect me in any way uh, negatively. I don't, I couldn't give yeah, a fuck. I can only help you yeah. every day. Yeah. You know, it bother us. Hey, hey, FBS, he said that he, um, he wouldn't come on when we were calling him on because there was four of us on. He goes, I'm not going to debate Eralada and them guys on the show for, but if they want to come on my channel, didn't of he say course. he'd never have us on? Yeah, yeah. of course he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing he says means anything, bro. And he'll only I'll have you on there. On that motherfucker show. He would he would rather have all you guys whip his ass verbally and get the views than not have you on at all. You know what I mean? He don't give a fuck. Right. He just wants the views for himself. You know. I'd rather roll his yeah. shit. <laughs> OC, bro. <laughs> let me see. I just got something from OC. Very, very generous donation, it appears to be. Uh, $40. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and Shanna, bro. Merry Christmas to you and your family as well, OC. Thank you very much, bro. <clears throat> it's yeah, a great bro. Christmas, Christmas Eve. It is, man. It is. I'm, I'm very Yeah, it's uh, a lot it of is. fun. I, it's a lot of fun. How many I guys? Guess, anybody man. check uh, Anybody check Lion Lee's channel? He's, he got any <laughs> guys on? No, is he even on? No, of course not. I don't no. think so. Uh, the only thing nah, he's, 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 angel, he's right? doing what the people with it factors do. He's on a yacht, on a boat yeah. somewhere because he's got the. He it can't factors. even get a co-host. He so can't even get another fraud to be a co-host. You think he's back? No, he ran out of the house when he heard "ho ho ho." <laughs> yeah, I don't well, think. I, uh, I don't. Uh, Forget it. I got distracted by a comment. Go on. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> oh, I was uh, gonna say I don't think him or Angel are on. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, but but you know Lee's gonna say like what he's gonna say tomorrow is I got a life. That's why he didn't do a oh, show. Please. These guys don't have lives. No, right. he didn't do a show because who would what, come on? It? What really happened is Lee uh, couldn't pay his internet bill. <clears throat> yeah. No shit. Yeah. His Wi-Fi froze up. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Michelle. Yeah, hello. The dog ate his Wi-Fi. It'll be it'll be the same cast of characters. If he has a show, like it's not a panel like this where it's all different types of people, guys that were in the life, everything. It, it'll consist of NB, Angel, maybe MRE. You know what I mean? Basically, a, a crazy oh, woman, yeah. a slut in Long Island, and a fucking neo-Nazi. That's who he has on his goddamn show. Right. If if that Nobody was my in the fucking. Life. Yeah, if that was my circle of friends, I wouldn't do any shows either. I'd give up. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. guy. Last that year, guy that's always like, hey, Lee, they don't I know, know how smart you are, man. Cuban guy. Last year, yeah, that's like, the hey, Lee, no. They don't know how smart you are, man. Bro, oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop bringing up. Oh, can't shave. Can't shave. Three minutes. Oh. Three FBS. minutes. Hello, people. FBS, Don Boleyn made the night, bro. He made the night. Oh, I'm glad yeah. You guys, yeah. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. He's the best, man. I love yeah, talking to Don on the guy's, phone. Is that like, guy's great. Yeah, talking to him on the phone is like, I, I feel like I learned so much. You know what I mean? The guy is full of uh, yeah. information and knowledge. Um, yeah. I think Lefty was trying to say something. What were you saying, Lefty? No, I was saying Lee last year for, for New Year's had a show with like a panel. They all were talking about you. They stopped, and then Lee couldn't resist every three minutes bringing you up. Like, he couldn't do it. It would go three minutes. Even when I pointed it out, he was, like, struggling to go past the three-minute mark. Bringing me up? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what – if you guys remember uh, – well, not all of you were watching, I guess, back then, but – when he would be on even somebody else's panel, as soon as they would stray away and stop talking about me, he would bring them right back to it. He's obsessed. You know what I mean? He's yeah, obsessed. He FBS That's FBS what he did to Chicky. He, he, co he, yeah. he coerced him into talking bad about Anthony. Yeah, well, yeah, here exactly. he is. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to bring Lee on right now, guys. Let's see what he has uh, to say. Yeah, bring, right, that, bring that fucking fat pig on. What's up, Lee? Hello, people. This is going to be uh, a video on rats. <laughs> and when I say rats, what I'm talking Star about. Star and MRE? Why yeah. do certain, uh, certain people on YouTube seem people. to think that defending rats is in their interest? 
Well, what about when you, you know, did it? People Lee? have to remember these rats. Yeah, were part of mob families. I think Dominic. Well, oh, 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 like Danny Smith. What you're seeing is you're seeing these rats coming, and they're picking who they feel they can infiltrate, who will put up for them, with that for them, who will go out there and do the dirty work for them. You like, uh -huh. like working. For Unfortunately, Angel. there are some yeah. content makers that just don't know any better, and will defend <laughs> these people. And yeah, some of these defended them. Things, like murder women. He was all up jeans. Murder ass. men, murder other uh, leaders of families. Murder uh, women. Yeah. Any yeah. of you guys? Any of you guys ever murder women? I mean, that's what <laughs> they do. I never even hit a woman. And then you have people that think that the most important thing is to be friends with them. You know what? Am I guilty for associating with them in the beginning? Yes. Did I learn my lesson? Yes. <laughs> so you did You're begging us to come on now. Rats in general, they're full of crap, and they will. Stick you in the back, just like it's nothing. Yeah, like what he know, does. Part people. of their nature. Stick you in the back. Part of their nature. Part of their nature. Like, like he put the gun to the back of the girl's head and, and kidnapped her. Yeah. yeah. Did he, he have a gun? He, uh, in our version of the story, yeah. Fuck if he can oh, lie yeah. about it. <laughs> hey. Yeah, right. They make it was a brutal. It was a brutal kidnapping. Her throat. That girl's yeah, lucky buy she's alive. Hair. That's all I can say. Listen, this guy would have any of you on if you gave him the opportunity, and he would kiss your ass the entire time, just like he did with Jimmy Calandra and Bill Cotolo, and just like he was begging Gene Barello to be his, uh, you know, uh, to give him uh, Gene's first interview uh, after Dude, court and all that shit. He would garble yeah. your balls, guys. Hello, yeah, people. Okay. Yeah. Hey, imagine, imagine a uh, uh, internet hacker went and erased all his videos. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh man, I love Anthony's introduction for Lee. Bring that fat bastard on here. Yo, maybe since he, you know, interviews uh, mafia informants and uh, people who've uh, cooperated, he'll have MRE on the show. Yeah, well, he should. He's the biggest uh, stoolie in Providence, Rhode Island, ever. Yeah, because he's the only one that's not admitting that he's a fucking rat. The only one. You know? Right, well, exactly. Angel right. Too. Here, let's see what he has to say one more time. Hold on. Yes, Lee. Yeah. Just put up my Bring show it. and move on. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm not going <laughs> to go on other channels that are attack channels that are attacking people. That's done. Once a month. I'm going to yeah, concentrate right. on building my brand. Yeah, His I'm not going to have people His come brain. on my channel to attack other channels. Is that selling? I'm not going to go on other channels to attack <laughs> I'm other done channels. With the drama, people. He's he going to work about on his health. brand of macaroni and cheese. What's he talking and this about? This is something this my sponsor told me. Sponsor. You do it this way, we don't sponsor you because they know He's my sponsor. Fun. They've seen it all. They went through my library. They the made library. Library. <laughs> library. Library. So, so, with lies. I'm excited to be getting a sponsor. Learn how to talk, you idea. fat bastard. I have to do what that sponsor wants. He's being a sponsor? Oh, he's a little bitch that, you see? To, to website. I'm going to make sure your sponsor knows you're going to get that I wonder who the sponsor team. is. Well, listen, Tell us about... If he really... Hey. If he really had a sponsor, that sponsor would have ripped his tongue out of his mouth. Listen, yeah, any tell sponsor us about I ever Farrell. had... Any, any sponsor I ever had, him and his friends harassed the shit out of, so they would... Lefty, bro, could you mute yourself when you're not talking? It's real loud. Um, they abused the shit out of. They harassed the fuck out of them just so, uh, you know, they would no longer sponsor my show. So I hope that same thing doesn't happen to Lee's sponsor. That would be yeah, fine. Well, you know, know what? Yeah. They they seem to think, him, him, Angel, and a whole bunch of other people, they seem to think like there's this new rule coming uh, with YouTube and that nobody will be able to uh, talk to each other. The they know that now. They know that's not true. They they he, Lee makes that up. He did the same thing last year. You know anybody can Google it. There's no new rule. There's no. Do you know what that would put to an end? Do you realize that YouTube is built from that shit? I mean, if there was no drama amongst content creators, there would be no YouTube. Even Don the Lynch biggest, back. yeah, right. even the biggest content creators and, on YouTube fight with each other. You're right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Look at uh, 
Look at um uh, Grant, Grant Cardone is probably one of the sharpest guys in the world. Grant Cardone, and and he and he had what's his name, the other sharp dude from Wall Street, the Wolf of Wall uh, Wall Street, uh, jo the real Jordan life Belfort. guy. Here. What's his name? Jordan, Jordan Belfort. Belfort. And they and, and and they did a uh, an interview, and they don't like each other. Grant don't like him, but they created controversy amongst. And they're you know Grant's a billionaire, and Jordan's you know a multi multi millionaire, and uh, yeah, it, it's all about controversy. With everything, the the difference is, the difference is this: everybody here could go out in F FBS. You could have a show, and uh, you could exist without this drama of uh, attacking and attacking back. You could exist, and all of us could exist by doing a show with content about our lives. He can't. He has to have. The, the hate and the slander and the back and forth stuff. Other than that, he doesn't exist. We well, all could exist like crack, here. But it's like crack the leak hole. Okay, he says he's gonna quit. Then what does he do? He's right back on the drama pipe. Right as soon as it's Hello, all people. over with. After he's sometimes in the same show where he says he's quitting. Yeah, did he? Hey. Did he? Did he just take a plea deal with himself to cop out and get out of this? That's what it sounds Pretty like. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's always trying to duck out of it. <laughs> By the way, we now have common Is sense from Berlin and Chunky Chunko. Oh, hey, how's it going, nice. guys? Happy holidays! Oh. Happy, uh, holidays. Hey, happy, happy holidays! Happy holidays. Holidays. Great, holidays! Great, great video! Merry Christmas! Christmas. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Please donate to FBS. Give him, give him a nice Christmas bonus, and, and everyone else in the chat here who has cash up as well. Absolutely, You're thank right. you, bro. Mayo crazy. Hey, man. nice to meet you, Chunky and uh, Don. Good to nice have to you, meet you guys, man. Thanks. Thank you. Can you can you hear me okay? And yes. see me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Hold on, guys. One second. Uh, well, let me just say. Uh, well, I already said happy holidays uh, to you and uh, to your family, Chunky. I don't know if you heard me, but uh, I'm glad you're on here, bro. It's awesome to have you. Uh, Chicky is here. You guys want to hear from Chicky? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. yeah bring that back. All right. <laughs> Oh, shit. Forget it. I have too many people on. It's all good. We didn't need okay. to hear from him anyway. It's I can back out if you need. Nah. No, no, no. You no, would have no. heard nothing but fucking, you know, yeah. lies. and. It's lies. not really him. You know what I mean? If it was really him, I might have to kick uh, one of y'all. No, it's not him. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Witness number five. Yeah, Tony Ducks. Yeah. Witness number five. Yes. The bull crusher, yo. Don Berlin, you got your power back, my friend. I got the generator up. I couldn't nice. even get the garage door to open so I could uh, go get some more wood. It's so cold here. It's unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Which I say, it's like a, Where are you, Doc? I'm in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is like uh, towards uh, Bull Run Mountain. And that's like way, way west of uh, Washington, D.C., about 60 miles. Oh, and, oh, uh, um, you know, right on the, right on the foot of... Uh, of uh, Bull Run Mountain, and it's a farm that um, is in the middle of about a 1,300-acre forest, and this is like, this piece of it is about 160 acres. It's really, it is beautiful. I mean, it is, it is really, really beautiful. You know, my wife and I, we've had this for many, 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 many years, and we said when we moved in, we're going to move in in cartons, and we're moving out in coffins. Um, there you That's go. Basically, yeah. Because, yeah. Um, Are a lot yeah, of people without power today on the holiday? In your, oh, you're at? it's unbelievable. Thousands, thousands of people. Wow. Nobody in our neighborhood has any power. That's our neighborhood terrible. is very small. There's only six farms, so in, in about a square yeah. mile area. Yeah. We we would love to use your farm to take Lee Cole on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just oh, there you go again. You Fucking you just about to there, shit again. Do you, no, have any bear, do you have any bears down there that are hungry? We got we, that we do. We have brown bear and what have you. And, They're not going to eat them. They'll, they'll be able to feed off of him for the whole winter. I know. Nah, they'll be like, fuck that. That's like stinky meat. <laughs> no, what, what you gotta, if you bring Lee, you got to make sure you bring a couple of banjos, you know, and, and, and I have the background <laughs> music of, of deliverance. Deliverance. That'll only make yeah. Hey, Don, you, you got any pigs there? Squeal you like know, you got any boss. pigs on that farm? No, if no we bring pigs. if we bring Chicky and Lee, we'll have two of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Don't forget the one hot dog. No, I think I think that uh, I, 
Yeah, he would. Uh, he would uh, probably eat, eat the deer out of house well, in Berlin. Home. That's the funniest thing I've heard all night. By the way, <laughs> yeah, right. So you know, poor Lee. Common, that's a good one. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> He well, said, he said uh, I, I sat down. I sat down. Is Andy pigs there? And he said, and Common said, well, if he brings Lee and Chicken here, you have two of them. <laughs> a little fucking hot. And, and let me tell you, that'd be a whole lot of bacon, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Right. That, would, that, would feed, that would feed your whole state. <laughs> no kidding. They, they both sound like they're squealing, too, when they talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, anyway. I apologize for dropping off suddenly. But do you, do you yeah, remember I lost, you left I lost off? connection too. Uh, it is what it is here. Hang, hang on one I second. Don't know. I, you this know. is what we'll do. I got an idea. Hold on. Uh, Tony yeah. Duck said $25 for Merry Christmas, FBS, and family, and everyone on the show. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Yeah, Tony, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Duck. I think, I think the best bet at this point is uh, to just go around the room and. Uh, do a Q&A with Don Berlin because he seems to be the star of the show tonight. <laughs> wow. Oh, without a doubt. No, oh, yeah. I'm so happy he came on. I, I, I actually like listening a lot, too. But I do have an announcement. <laughs> in 20, let's see, in 40, no, 31, only Chris really knows about this, although I've talked about it on another show. But seriously, tomorrow or in 35 minutes, okay, drum roll, please. I will be my my sobriety anniversary is Christmas Day, nineteen eighty nine. So in wow. thirty five minutes, I will be thirty three years old. Wow! Well, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, bro! Congratulations. It's a special day for me. Christmas is good, but yeah. getting sober on Christmas Day was uh, well, kind of good and bad. I'll tell you. I mean, when I when I yeah. when I uh, rolled up on the shores of. Uh, the McBride Center, where it was, I mean, it was so cold there. This was northern Wisconsin, okay, in Oconomowoc or whatever, on Christmas Day. Um, I mean, you know, if you have to sober up on Christmas Day, let me tell you, you've hit the bottom, okay? I mean, that is really, really a sad editorial, because that means, you know, your life has gone to complete shit. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, a new beginning. It was kind of ironic, though. It really was, so. Um, but yeah, it's been 33 years. Amazing. I came in when I was very young. That's great. You know? Yeah. So anyway, so congratulations yeah. again, my friend. Thank oh, you. Yeah. And you're like a 44, 43 months, right, Chris? No, 42 months on the 21st. I just got, yeah. Uh, good for you. Good for thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's well, another you, thing. Are you originally from I'm Virginia? Virginia? No, Illinois. No, oh, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. You know, Northern Wisconsin. Uh, that's um, where, yeah, that was, those were the mountain ranges right there. That's Virginia. Hey, Chunky yeah. Chunko, let's hear let's hear a little bit from you. We, we, we've never heard you before. Uh, I was okay. on here once before, but what's up? What's up, buddy? How are you? Got anything are you? new coming out? Uh, I'm working on a couple of videos. That it's been taking forever for this new season to come out. He keeps delaying it and shit. So it originally was supposed to come out uh, before the holidays. Now it's going to come out around April 1st. And it makes sense because, you know, the season's a joke, so might as well release it on <laughs> April Fool's. Yeah, he hates William DeMeo and Gray. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Number one yeah. fan, right? Yeah. Piece of shit show, yes. <laughs> yeah. My beautiful wife said, have a very Merry Christmas to the one and only Mob Tube Familia. Love the Queen. Merry Christmas. Yeah, change the Christmas. When you order Sopranos from Wish.com, you get, uh, you know, Gravesend. Yeah, I heard it's terrible. I still yeah. never saw a single fucking episode, and I couldn't care less. Me but I don't, I don't fucking like Me William DeMeo. I can't stand him. Oh yeah, yeah. what was the I, end? Everything about yeah. him is fugazi, huh? What was the end? A bunch of fucking movies you never heard of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chunky can tell you. Chunky, hey, can you run he down played... his filmography real quick? See movies. Let's he see. played try... Sammy Sammy Gravano and Angel Loves Him. Imagine that. Yeah, besides yeah, besides that, I can't think of a single movie that you would actually know that he's in. I mean, he's, he's in the background <laughs> yeah. of The Sopranos. Gunsmoke, what's that one? He's an analyze that. Or... What did he play Carlo Gambino in? 
uh, <laughs> boss of bosses. Yeah, yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. I know what he looks like, but I, I don't see the Sammy the Bull connection. Well, he, play, he keeps playing Italians, but he's not even Italian. He's Jewish. His name's uh, uh, William Steinle. Yeah. William Steinle. Oh, yeah. that's why MRE doesn't like him. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he got a, a strike <laughs> for that reason alone. Yeah. Yeah, every time MRE yeah. sees him, he got the who fought his face on. <laughs> what Sorry, briefly? Yeah. What is yeah, that show about? Funny, anyway, I mean, I heard the name a lot, but I... say hi to them. It's it's basically a bootleg Sopranos. I mean, it doesn't really have a story. It's basically Will DeMeo, you know, stroking his own ego for four episodes. That's that's every single one of his projects. So, you know, he's the big uh, tough guy. You know, toughest guy in the mob gets every girl. You know, beats up any guy he wants. Got it. <laughs> yeah, sounds uh, really. Well, that's why it's really... a movie. Yeah, it's a van- it's it's basically a vanity project that turned into a film. Sounds like Chicago Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a series pretty soon. <laughs> Has anybody really found out? Uh, I know, I know Valor. That, that Tony has talked about you know him and and whatever. But has anybody genuinely identified that guy yet? Not I don't I don't know of any yet. I don't think so either. Well, I mean, just from so the guy Tony Soflo, I you know, with all that, that's uh, that's not um, accurate. With well, that yeah, right we, we don't, you know, it's not beyond a reasonable doubt, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's not a hundred percent yet. Yeah. Right. Well, that old man ain't him. We don't know. Possibly, yet. it yeah. certainly no, no, yeah, seems yeah, like it yeah. is, yeah. but you know, until you. It. Until you can match a face and the voice, you know what I mean? You got you to gotta have a video of him talking, something like that. It's uh-huh. hard to say a thousand percent. Well, that's you know? why he says he's 99% sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there I got a question for Don. Then. I got a question yeah. for Don. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like when a guy comes out that strong on this uh, YouTube, especially, you know, mob tube, you know, with the mob genre and, uh, He's not no part of it at all, mm. and he doesn't show his identity. Doesn't mm. he hides his identity to the extreme where he doesn't you know let you know anything about him, and mm. then makes up all those stories, like he well, does. Let me, yeah, let, let me just say uh, this, okay, and uh, read between the blurry lines. So, <clears throat> in the uh, in the terrorism business, counterterrorism counter narcotics, counter threat finance, so on and so forth. Um, We never rely upon an identity based upon what someone self confesses. We don't even rely upon an identity based upon what somebody says, you know, who you are. Okay. That's not the way a a positive identity is established. Positive identity is established in one of three ways, either reverse facial recognition imagery analysis. That's one or biometrics, in other words, fingerprints or iris prints, or rolled uh, fingerprints. So the iris prints are not possible, and we're never going to give, you know, a standard for rolled fingerprints for this guy. So the only way that um, you would be able to positively identify him would be if we had an image of him, a quality image of him that could be uh, uh, various tools could be used, and I'm not talking about, you know, Google reverse photography. That that those are those are tools, yes, but they are accurate to about 26. percent They're they're not that accurate. Uh, I'm talking about some of the ones in which other agencies use and what have you. That are extremely accurate. Um, so why doesn't he show his face? That's the reason why, because he knows probably oh. that the moment that we get a photo of him, I can guarantee you we'll find him. Okay. As long as we have a stable photo of him. Or, you know, or, the, ne- one one. or the next time he's on a live, you could ring his doorbell and see if it's him or not. Yeah. Well, that's true. You know, <laughs> I mean, uh, but we would have to know, you know, uh, we would have to have a photo because again, going back to what I was saying before, you go with the known and you leave the unknown home alone. Okay, so you go with the known. The known is that somehow, somewhere, we get a photo of him. Either you know he accidentally opens up his camera or whatever it might be. Okay, while he's on the air, and we know that the photo goes to him, and then we reverse engineer the photo against other photos that are in the blog sphere or deep web, dark web, internet, 
uh, databases and so on and so forth. That's the only real way. And that's what he knows, too, that the moment he gives up his face, he gives up his identity. We don't have to know. What I say, though, is the other night when he was on his show and someone brought up, have you ever talked to that Montpass family? And he and Deadly both said they tried to reach out, quote unquote, and the people said they just don't care. Now, yeah, I see, I, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, so do my I. Family, and I was an innocent person. I would have already called the cops on him, et cetera, et cetera. So that also lets us know he, he's probably in the right ballpark. If, well, they if also took care all their me. social media and made it private when that shit started coming around. Well, well, yeah, but see, the, the problem, the problem with, with going with the so-called Monpas or whatever that name is, identity, is it emanates from what Tony Soflo has has uh, been able to gather so far. It does not emanate from a confirmed photo of this guy. Yes. Compared against a, a standard. Okay. So w- the so, only positive way would be that he would have to appear on YouTube with his face, and we would then have to reverse engineer the photo to see who it goes back to. So just because Tony says, and this isn't to take anything away from what Tony, you know, has been able to put together. I don't mean to, I don't mean to say that. Well, but what I am saying is, if, if you're looking at, a, at at a standard, you know, in other words, what is the what is the standard that the U.S. government uses or the military or whatever? It has to be an actual photo of him. Well, you can also. Why do you think Tony Titan on Instagram no, or here. Craigslist to take a video? of this person in public with a voice and everything for 100 bucks, 50 bucks. Well, yeah, but I mean... Don, why uh, do you think, though, he's hiding, though? Why do, you, why do you think, like, he comes and goes through all this trouble to... Uh, say, he's a wit suck. Know, things he's that, a well, coward. Say he, <laughs> he doesn't look yeah, like, like what he says he looks like. He's, he's a chemo. Yeah, why do, think, why do you think... Why do you think he does that? Because I, I think that um, if he follows the pattern of all the other people that have been disclosed uh, on the other side, you, what you would conclude is is that he is not who he says he is. Okay, he is not the person. Right. Well, he's not. I mean, right. factually, in other words, my understanding is I'm not heard about a lot about this, but my understanding is is so, that he's got this kind of like Arkansas, you know, hacking laughter and whatever and. And he says he's a former Marine and whatever. That I mean, I've heard uh, snippets of him, okay? And I can tell you, I've hung around with a lot of Marines. I was based on a Marine Corps base up until recently. And those kinds of people do not talk like that under any no. circumstance. No, no. And I understand you want to, like, hide your face because, you know, you know, people are doxing. They're chasing people in cars and stuff. But, uh... But, you know, well, if you do, you do what this guy does. He makes these troll videos. You know, he's actively attacking people. What do you expect to happen right. back to you? Right. Well, right. Yeah. I right. mean, that, all, all you're doing is attracting yourself or painting yourself uh, with a target on your back by doing that. Uh, you know, so. Right. And I, I, the other thing is, is, you know, the, there's probably a thrill element to the cat and mouse chase, you know, that I, I can, uh, you know, I can. Uh, you know, keep ahead of these guys and no one will ever find out who I am and I'm the great mystery man or whatever. But the reality is that ultimately he's going to be found out. Well, they always are. Unless he disappears. Well, you, you know the guy's a fraud. Look at all the stuff he claims that he is. I've never heard somebody so accomplished in my life be 50 years old with all the shit that this guy's done, you know? It's crazy. You know, right. Well, right. he said things that can't both be true. Like he said he served time with Gacy, right? Well, it, yeah. you know the rules with the Marines. You can't join the Marines and get a moral waiver if you've done violent felonies. You can get some moral waivers for lower level felonies, but if you do no. something that lands you in the Illinois state system in a place like Statesville or Joliet, guess what? You can't leave prison and well, join the Marine Corps. That's that's that, that's, that's not that the is... part but that's not the part that goes against him because he said that he was in the Marine he was in the military before he before he went to prison. He said he got shot in Desert Storm, got a purple heart, and when he came home, <laughs> this is this is where I, this is where this is where I, I caught him out lying though about the prison thing. He post remember when he posted a picture of that envelope? He said he wrote a letter right. from prison, yes. proving he was in yeah. Statesville. 
he said that he, the reason that he had written that letter was because when Gacy was getting executed, he was told that the prison was going to be on a 72 hour lockdown. Now, when you look at the date, right, of when uh, John Wayne Gacy was executed, I believe it was on May 9th or May 10th. Well, that letter that was stamped wasn't until the end of May. It was like May 21st or May 23rd. Now, not only was that 21 days after Gacy had already been executed, but why would you write a letter by snail mail, right? This was this was back in the uh, the 90s. Why would you write a letter for a 72-hour prison lockdown? By the time the person got the letter, the lockdown would have been over. The letter would have been useless. Yeah, right. it doesn't, yeah. Well, going you back understand? to the other point. Yeah, no, I get that. Um, but going back to the other point, I, I, I can tell you that, especially in today's world, okay, no person that has a conviction for any felony is going to make it into today's Marines. That's not going to happen. Oh, no way. No they, way. No way. No way. Okay. No way. I have, a, I have, a, I was telling you before, I have a, uh, a guy I'm trying to hire um, that for a position that was on my old team. And I told him, I said, listen, I said, let me tell you, I'll call him, say, Joe. I said, Joe, tell me if there's anything about you, okay, that is going to cause a problem. Tell me. because And don't lie because um, it will be found out, okay? So give it up now. If there's anything at all whatsoever, it'll be found out because the systems that are used by the Defense Counterintelligence Security Agency, DCSA, that uh, gives all clearances to cleared personnel – has extremely sensitive systems they're going to find out so uh did you see the lights just dim hold on one second if i uh check out suddenly you'll know why um so um the the individual said i had one dwi okay about six years ago um and uh i said well i think i can you know we can deal with that provided there's some form of mitigation. In other words, did you go for treatment? Did you go into the hospital? Did you attend AA? Did you, you know, go right. through therapy? Did, do something. Tell me something that I can use for mitigation, okay? That's the kind of thing that the Marines will look at and say, okay, if there is plausible mitigation, they'll waive it. But a conviction of a felony? No way. No way. Right. Well, they, the other thing as is, I said, no there's Marine there's... who goes home from war and then commits a felony, then goes to prison, is going to go on the internet later on and say they were an honorable guy. This dude oh. insists. Let's just say it happened the way that the other way, right? He served yeah. first, then he goes to prison. Well, right. once you go to prison, you're no longer an honorable uh, Marine uh, at all. You're not. You you don't have the right to throw that label out there to the general public anymore and use it to get get benefits and get praise I, from the public because you violated the public's trust. I also <laughs> don't know any, I also don't know anybody who would get shot during a war, receive a purple heart and within one year commit two felonies, including an armed bank robbery and go to prison right no. away. That's oh, a little, he had PTSD, no. man. No. <laughs> you know, he also, no, no, I mean, 300 people in uh, Korea uh, and was captured alive and lived through the war. The North yeah, Marines no. decided not to kill him after all that stuff, you know? You know, the cases that you see where a Marine, a Navy, you know, Army, whatever, a uh, person who has served um, uh, goes, you know, uh, downhill. Um, Drugs. Uh, tra traditionally, yeah, drugs or alcohol. What happens yeah. is they get hurt, okay, or PTSD. And, you know, the, the, in, during the, before the Trump administration, you know, uh, the VA was in very, very sad shape. I will give this punch for Trump, you know, he really reorganized the Veterans Administration so that uh, veterans today are getting infinitely better care than they used to get. So what yeah, you know, typically, yeah. yeah, so typically what you see is, uh, the uh, veteran will, you know, suffer from, you know, undiagnosed, untreated PTSD, or he'll start using or drinking, you know, while on duty and so on and so forth. He gets out, he's discharged and what have you. His uh, drug addiction or alcoholism progresses, you know, and then he finds himself homeless. Then he finds himself involved with criminality. Then he finds himself in jail, but not in one year, you know. No. Right. That's, it takes yeah, time. That's yeah. time. Yeah. Before that happens. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, it's a downward. Yeah. Downward descent. 
um, that does take some time and what he had to. And that's not including, you know, the amount of time that maybe he had a timeout as a result of a couple of attempted, you know, treatments and what he had. Um, is, um, is, there so, a, is there a law that, that you know, I know there's, uh, you know, stolen valor, obviously, but what about when you claim that your family members are law enforcement in the aid of trying to um, intimidate other people? Is there anything against that? Not on the individual that does it. Only the individual who um, is making the actual statement. In other words, impersonation. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, it would have, yeah, would have to be. Yeah, yeah. But you, would have, you can't say, you know, my brother is a cop, and therefore, if you don't do this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to call somebody up and, you know, have you arrested and so on and so forth. That's not impersonation. That's intimidation. Yes, that's a crime. Right. Intimidation. Right. You know. Right. Um, but but that's not uh, impersonation. Impersonation would mean he would have to say, I am a police officer or law enforcement or whatever. Um, gotcha. I know there's a Stolen Valor Act. I think it was uh, 2013 they had that. Because I live near a, 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 a military base, and, and now and then you get a couple of these idiots trying to act like they're something they weren't. They yeah. usually mm-hmm. got something wrong with them mentally, you know, begging for money or whatever. Did you but, see the post, the, ch- the latest post that I posted at Chicky? No. no. Yeah, Don, oh, which there, one? There was, a guy, there was a guy in my area. His name is David Chikatali. And he was in the uh, Navy. And he, uh, he wanted out of the Navy so bad, he went AWOL. And they dragged him, you know, him back there. And then he threw stuff in his face uh, to... Um, to say that he spilled like chemicals on his face, but he already oh, right. had a disease prior to right. that. Right. So, so when he got diagnosed, uh, they diagnosed the disease, uh, whatever he had, the, the disease he had, or whatever, and they gave him a uh, medical discharge. But you know, amongst us, he's been laughing about how he fraud defrauded the uh, the Navy, and um, and he uh, you know he got over on them, and. Recently, he was been posting. Um, you know, he had a. He was one of those that posted. He had a Purple Heart. Uh, he was a Navy SEAL. Yeah, um, that's you know, a. That's he a was problem. on the that, USS. Yeah, yeah that's he was a on. Well, I'm just asking yeah, you your opinion. He, yeah, he, he was on the USS Cole. Right, he was on the USS Cole, and uh, USS Cole. and when they when they attacked the ship, the uh, a mortar hit him in the head. And he got a scar on his head from the USS Cole bombing, and and all this was proven to be lies. What would that be? What would you diagnose that as, Don? Like, uh, well, number one, uh, claiming that you have any yeah. ribbon of honor, and particularly a Purple Heart, okay, or one of the major stars, yeah. bronze, silver, gold, whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, that that's a violation of the uh, uh, of the Stolen Valor Act. Well done. So 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 oh, that that's good. number one. Number two, you know, uh, and this might be an interesting exercise, too. Every person that was injured on the coal, okay, on the USS coal, um, has been recorded. Yeah. So if he was really hurt on the on the USS coal, number one, he would have been evacuated off of USS coal onto another, you know, ship and then on to treatment someplace. Well, definitely he said it was... uh the somewhere else i can read the post for you yeah but well he, yeah but he, he's neglecting to say the coal got bombed tw- uh tw- almost 11 years after he left the navy and well, it, halfway across right. halfway across the world in the in the sea of yemen or the sea right. of yeah. 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 yeah 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 no i remember that incident i wasn't in yemen um during that period but i worked a lot in yemen and my little cousin was on the Huh? Would that go against the military? Well, I mean, yeah. Chicky J. Chickatelli is at San Diego USS Midway Aircraft Carrier Museum excursion. Chicky, as a teenager, got hit in the head and eye on the USS Cimarron AO-177 that was part of the USS Midway Aircraft Battle Group. Was fully retired at 22 years old because terrorists put a sticky bomb on the side of the USS Hool that was moored right next to my ship. USNR second class. Sorry, my phone just. Uh, 
Oh, wait, USNR, so the U.S. Navy Reserves. He was in the reserves. USNR second class gunners mate. That's what he said. So he was in the reserves. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. That's the entire post for that one, but he's got. Yeah. One. So he well, was basically we'll... saying that he got he, he got bombed in uh, San Diego. Uh, right. 11 years before the bombing actually happened, which didn't occur until 2000 or 2001, halfway across the world. You know what I mean? The guy's nuts. Yeah, clearly he's got his dates mixed up, you know. But by the way, you know, this would be very easily resolved. I can't remember um, what show this was. Uh, if it was Chris's show or some other show where a guy was making all these claims about his military record and what have you. Chris, was this your show where I said that uh, will give him, you know, a, a, um, a co you know, in fact, didn't I send it to you, the DD-247 or what is it? Oh, yeah, 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 and, and the guy, he would never sign it, though, obviously. Oh, all right, so here's another one, chapter of my life at 18 years old, my life at 18 years old became a man real fast when in 1987 terrorists tried to blow up the USS Cole up in Pearl Harbor Bay but failed. But I walk away <laughs> with a 13-inch scar from my eye to the back of my head. My ship, the USS Cimarron, a0177 was moored right behind the USS Cole. Well, well, wait a second. First off, the USS Cole was not a pack fleet ship. In other words, no. it wasn't part of the Pacific Command. It was AFRICOM. So right. <laughs> he's on oh, the wrong side of the earth. And if we got bombed in Pearl Harbor for the second time, there would have been another world war. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, oh, he was on the Arizona. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, down at the bottom of the sea. But you no, know, I know. It goes back, wow. Yeah, it, it goes back to really, you know, look at the person, uh, the whole person, mm. you know, you know, Tiki is the whole person, what have you. First off, you know, I mean, he's not the kind of guy that's going to, uh, shall I say, uh, shall I say, a pure American, American uh, beauty, you know. I mean, uh, you know, he's he's a little thick around the edges. Uh, so you're being Jesus. you're being kind on Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> no, the only time, the only time that this won. guy was ever on a ship was to sink it. And that's right. Awesome. He, he was a <laughs> I said they probably so. used him as bait. They, they probably used Chicky as bait to keep the sharks away from the troop. You know? <laughs> exactly. They used him as an anchor. Yeah. They yeah, used him as an anchor. They had to, do, they had to right. take out their calculators. They're like, hold on a second, of... guy. You have it. You have it. They needed drag in order to slow the ship. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I love it. A technical yeah. question about Chickie. That, uh, FBS, he's know, an anchor. Would he and Lee be yeah. blue ribbon pigs if they were on your farm? I'm sorry, say it again. Would, would Chickie and Lee be blue ribbon winning pigs on your farm if they were at the county fair? No. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> they, they were, as I said before, they would make a whole lot of bacon, that's for sure. Don, no. Don, Don, I gotta done. ask you this though, and I'm not being, yeah. I'm not being funny, but could, would yeah. they ever use like, like for a, one of those big ships? Would they use a human acre? Like, would they use him as an acre? <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> only, only if they were trying to attract somebody. Maybe, maybe they, maybe, they could maybe use they him were... as one of those bumpers at the dock, you know, so the boat doesn't crash into the dock. <laughs> yeah. you know, bumpers, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> You know, I think, I think, you know, it's another, uh, again, I, I, you know, prefer because this is the way I am. Um, I prefer to look at this through sad eyes and that is, you know, um, I pity, uh, him. I do. Uh, I, yeah. it's not that I have empathy for him. It's not that I have You're sympathy a good man, for him. That's why. Yeah. I have pity for him. And the reason why I have pity for him yeah. is, is because when your life is so devoid of purpose, of worth, of value, yep. that you must leap to, yep. you know, uh, those kinds of uh, false bullshit things. stories. Uh, yeah, right. I take it very personally when uh, individuals are involved in in stolen valor. I always try to make certain that I'm very, very clear. You know, when I talk with people, I am not a veteran. I'm still serving. I am not a veteran. 
I am not a member of the COCOMs. I'm on the DOD, IC side of the house, okay? So that's different from the uh, Army, Navy, Marine Corps, okay, or Air Force and so on and so forth. We, we serve alongside of them. We team with them. We support them and what have you. But we're not veterans, okay? We're in the civilian workforce. Now, a lot of people confuse that, okay? But he's not doing that, okay? He's not doing that. He's, he's doing something else. Um, and, and I, I just, you know, I, I ask myself and others, you know, what kind of an individual would do something like that? I mean, what does it say about the individual that does that kind of thing? You know, when yeah. you, when you consider all of the people who are and have made the supreme sacrifice, you know, for their nation, for their community, for their families. Um, I cannot tell you how many times, including, you know, as recently as last September, where I've served with people and up comes that car. And if you've ever seen it happen, it, it, the ceremony is so uh, moving. But when that car comes down the road and pulls up to your front door, and out comes a one star, maybe a colonel or what have you, with a chaplain and knocks on the door and says to, you know, Mrs. So-and-so, on behalf of a grateful nation and the president of the United States, we are here to inform you that on 14 July, you know, 2022, the beloved Richard, in my case, my friend's name, Higgins, was killed in the line of duty, Kandahar, Afghanistan. God save his soul and America. And then they come into the house and what have you, present you with the gold star and the gold flag. Now, those people deserve the highest honor when that happens. To yeah. think that somebody else has Definitely. stolen that from them is contemptible. Right. Yeah. You know? It's disgusting. Really- it's disgusting. Yeah. 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 It, it is. is. You know, it is. You know, people don't realize that. Like, I never realized it either. You know, the life I lived, you know, living my life, you don't really, uh, with the military fighting overseas, uh, fighting for the country, you know, you never yeah. pay it no mind. You're too busy living with your life. But when, you know, you're in prison and then you start watching all these, uh, getting involved in what, you know, how life really is because it slows down for us when we go to prison. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. These guys, you know, they, uh, they sacrifice their lives, their families, they come back, some of them with no legs, no arms or death. They, you know, they lose them. The wives have to, you know, go on with two, three kids and without, you know. Or their that, sanity. A lot, a lot yeah. of these guys come back and then they're not the same and end up taking their lives. There's suicide yeah. a huge problem with, uh, you know, returning uh, people. But, uh men and women of uh, armed forces, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Chicky co-ops yeah. all that stuff. And it's much the same way Lee co-opted his brother suffering to score a $20,000 check. Yeah. Or, or well, these guys that co-opt our stuff. You know, Jesse Roth made a good point right now. She said she's happy that her life is boring. Why would she ever... Why would anybody want to pretend to be any of us? The fact is, any of these guys that do... I can rest assure you, you don't want to have to go through what happens when you do put in the work. When you have a criminal record, try getting a good job. Even if you have a a degree like I had, you still have other college grads who don't have felony records to compete with. Same thing with military guys. You know, if you really put in the work, you would never, ever try to pretend to be one of them because you would know what it felt like to do it. Very true, yeah. Well, you know, that one... When I seen this guy, you know, I never knew nothing about stolen valor and all this. Uh, if I if if I paid attention, the post that he used to put on back in like 2017, if I got those posts, I mean, those were really sick. And uh, to imagine, you know, a guy would go to that extent, knowing that knowing that I know the real story, his brother knows the real story, everybody around here knows the real story of of what he, uh, what the fraud that he did. Um, to the level that he did it, it's disgusting. When he when you really get down and think about it, what he I'm did surprised. to uh, 
I'm surprised nobody like from the military has you know reported him or seen that post that he made and, and questioned him on any of it. To be honest, well, I do. Just you have to profit monetarily though for it to be stolen valor. I, I think it has to be. He gets paid. He, four, he gets paid four thousand a month. He gets, he gets four grand a month. No, he gets, thirty. Yeah. He gets thirty. He gets thirty three hundred a month, and he gets seven hundred from Social Security. Oh, you mean fraud? He gets thirty three hundred from the, the Navy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, how he got how he got exactly. the actual yeah. money? Yeah, that's the fraud. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And it's a disgrace, and he laughs about it. Even la- listen, there's a show, <clears throat> and you know you'd have to dig into where it, where he said it, but it was when all the, it was in the last couple of months where he was laughing at it that uh, he's laughing all the way to the bank because he get every first of the month he gets that check, and uh, he's pretty much laughing at it. The, the, the fraud that he committed. Well, Lee, the, uh, uh, these Lee Cole commits fraud every time he goes on YouTube. He's got his account under his son's social security number, and he's not reporting the income he makes to social security disability. And they talk about me getting yeah. super chats. Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Exactly. The hypocrisy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen when his son has to file taxes this year, you know? Is he, he's going to get nailed... And have to pay all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's, that's going to be question. a big problem. Yeah, because that's going to oh, go he, on here. Well, no, he'll get money back. Yeah. He'll get money back on that. Pretty much. But he's gonna, but he's gonna have to pay taxes on income. And if and if say if say he made six, just you know, just hypothetically, say he made sixty five thousand dollars a year, and he was in one tax bracket, and uh, oh, Lee made six thousand, they'd bump him up to the higher tax bracket. He could get screwed over. You know? Yeah. Right, right. There's a, there's a lot of factors that are varied into there. If that's what's going on. That's pretty fun. Well, Lion, uh, Lion Lee would have to, Lion Lee would have to come up with that, whatever the extra is. Yeah, like he would do that. Huh. And was it wasn't his right. son in the military? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was there. Yeah. yeah, he was. It is. Uh, it is now Christmas, everyone. Hey, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to everyone. Thanks, thanks Merry for Christmas. having having us Merry on with us. Oh, absolutely, man. Merry Christmas to all of you and all your families. Thank you for coming on tonight. This was fantastic. Yeah. I'm at the three-hour mark, and I just got a text. There's something I have to do, so I got to shut it down. But thank you guys again. I yeah. appreciate you coming on here. You know, if that you want to look at it this way, if you want to look at it this way, tonight we had somebody who was at one time associated with the Columbo family. Someone who was at one time associated with the Gambito family. Uh, someone from the Bonanno family and the Genovese family. Yeah. And, yeah, I was, and, and we had a. And I was in the Black Mafia. We had family. someone brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need the Lucchese family. I know. It's the only oh, thing we're missing. All-star, well, Gunsmoke used to all know All-star Kelly Balls. Yeah, definitely, Anthony. Thank you, guys, and thank and you to Dom Berlin. Yeah. Over Don's last name. Yeah, yeah Dom Berlin. Berlin. You gotta. He next like time he comes on, Chris. Anytime he comes on, uh, let me know. I'll jump on with him. All right, sounds Thanks good. And, uh, yeah. Mer- Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays to everyone. Merry Thank everybody. You for having me on. Yeah, it's always yeah. good talking to all of you guys. Stay safe and have a good holiday, yeah. everybody. Merry, 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 Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to everybody. All right, thank you, everybody. Francesco, uh, Howie, JC, Lefty, everybody, uh, Gunsmoke. Francesco. Yo. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Who's coming on next? Yeah. I don't know. Gunsmoke, you going on? In a few hours, a couple hours. Come on, go on now. Come on. Oh, what do you mean? Couple hours. Do it now while everybody's doing a couple hours. How are you doing? A couple hours. How are you going to make any bigger audience? What's going on with you, Gunsmoke? All you gotta do, know. all you gotta do is turn on the camera. Look at the camera. I know, couldn't be easier. All right, yeah. fine. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll make the show right now. All right, all right. All right. Have fun at Gunsmokes, guys. <laughs> right. Thank, hey, you thank you again. Thank you guys. Hey, FBS, great show, great show. And Merry thank Christmas, you, you and your family. Merry Christmas yep. to you too, all right. bro. Yeah, have a good night. All right, yeah. Frank, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, FBS. Fuck you, Lee. All right, bro. See you soon. I think you left. Okay. Listen, thank you, everybody. And Jersey Girl, I know I didn't get to read a lot of your super chats. Thank you so much. Everybody who sent me cash or a super chat or sticker, I want to thank you. It makes me very happy. I like to know that you guys are still willing to support the show after all this time. Thank you, Rolex and Race Cars. Uh, 
I appreciate uh, all your support, all you guys. I love you all. Merry Christmas uh, to you and your families, each and every one of you. I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow. I probably won't do a show, but maybe I'll hop on someone else's. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for everything. I love you all, and until next time, salute.